Hey everybody, welcome over to YouTube. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? All right, can y'all hear me okay? Can y'all see the game okay? Everything good? There's a reason why I'm starting like this. I'll make sure y'all can hear everything good. Thank you, Manuel. All right. <laughs> Some bad cop? Yeah, how about right now? Hey there, Manuel. Mike B. Hey, Dark Cluster. Thank you for becoming a member over here. And Devin Dude, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you, Nick. Uh, was it 17 months, Nick? Damn, man. That's crazy. Miss Press, thank you as well a lot of moderators in here which is normal uh let's see hey john hey done b9 bot john there hey done john what's up uh, nick fulton mike b miss press manuel dark cluster devin dude all right we'll probably get some more members kind of popping in here 16 months damn man all right, so the reason why I'm starting like this is because uh, I want to make sure that I can actually load into the game first. Okay, so this is what my game looks like without any mods installed at all. Like, there's no mods. So uh, what we're going to do here in just a minute, we're going to go to desktop. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, tons and tons of adding in you know, different mods. And we're going to be bouncing back and forth into loading into the game. So I hope you guys can bear with that. Hey, Taco. How you doing, Matt? Hey, Matt, I saw a really old live stream, and I saw you in there. I was like, oh, there's there's Taco Killer. <laughs> Back when he was kind of cool. Now he's, now he's just kind of nerd or something like that. And Miss Press has always been cool, so I don't care what you guys say. I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, get out of here. Aaron, that's for calling my manager. Okay, so we just want to make sure we can load into the game first. We've got all kinds of shit in here. Okay, enough killing and mayhem. <laughs> let's get to desktop. All right, so let's exit game. And we're going to get started. All right. Right, let me know if the music is too loud or, you know, whatever. Yeah, mods mods are immune to the membership thing. All right, guys, we got it all laid out. So if you guys are watching and you're not a member, you can still follow along. There is a, a link in the description that goes to all of the links uh, this is what it looks like whenever you download it okay so it's it's a shit ton of stuff that we have to do today okay this is why it took me so long sean <laughs> so this is going to go over here as for my reference right there i just want to make sure y'all can still see yeah we're 
All right, guys. All right, let's see here. You have to hop out of here. Somebody has to, somebody had to hop out. Are you get, are you living here, Taco? You're playing some New World. Okay. All right. We'll see you when you you know when you level up a little bit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all ready? Let's get started, man. Okay, so I took the liberty of already downloading all this shit, so that way uh, we don't have to just go and download everything, okay? Yeah, it's not a members-only live stream. That means that our people on YouTube can actually uh, watch. It's just people that can type in here are uh, members-only or mods. How did you get in, by the way? I'm having an issue with no mods, and the game crashed the desktop on loading screen in about two minutes. They tried a couple of videos, reinstalling, verifying. Uh, that's what happened to me, Dark Cluster. I'm not sure if it was like they had a mini update. I don't know. So, um, I was the reason why I'm doing all this is because I couldn't even load into story mode. Like it was crashing the desktop right away. Is that what's happening to you? You said about two minutes, so. Yeah, mine never got past the loading screen, Dark Cluster. So you may have had the same problem that I did. Yeah. So I had to, I just deleted it out, man. Re, just re-downloaded GTA 5. Yeah, same with me, Dark Cluster. It just crashed. You know, straight to desktop. Not even an error message or nothing. So there's evidently something going on with uh, the main root, you know, main game directory. So let's go ahead and get going here, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we need to install LSPD Fire. Like I said, I have everything downloaded, so hopefully you guys can kind of follow along here. All right, so we're going to go straight into the main game directory. Okay, here's my main game directory. Uh, one thing I want to make sure that you guys understand if you guys are following along and this goes for the whole YouTube community when this video gets processed and gets re-uploaded. Uh, make sure you make a copy of your main, your main game directory. It needs to be clean, okay? So make a copy of it first. Yes, it takes up space, but quit being a, a tight-ass uh, little bitch, okay? Spend the extra money on an SSD, okay? They're like, what, 30, 40 bucks? Come on, man. Spend the extra money. Uh, on a larger SSD and then uh, make a copy of your original game file okay and you can see this is my pathway here I got installed on the H drive so it's in my Steam library Steam out common okay made a copy and the right here is the copy just in case something happens or if you want to mod something else you know this is what your game looks like without any mods that's my number one advice <laughs> The second advice is to log into your game in story mode. Most of you guys already know this. I'm going to tell you again real fast. Log into story mode. And if you're just now installing GTA for the very first time, you need to play you know, the first mission first, meaning the uh, where you steal the cars with uh, Lamar. And then you get back to a safe house. Uh, it could be later in the game. If you already have a safe point, that's great. Make sure it's not in cinematic mission style mode, you know, where... You accepted a mission and you're on a mission because your game will not load properly. The reason why you do that is to make sure you can actually play GTA first. Too many people get impatient and they go straight into GTA 5 and they just want to start modding everything. And they haven't even played the intro yet, you know, the, the, dial, the main pro prologue. So always do that. And then we are going to get started with our main game directory. And it's going to be right here. Now I pinned mine to taskbar down here. So that way, whenever I go like this, right click, and I just go to uh, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5, it pulls up my main game directory that way. Uh, one other thing I went ahead and did, just so I didn't take too long on the stream, is I went ahead and created a mods folder. So we have a mods folder. If you don't have one, you're going to right click, obviously. You're going to go to New, go to Folder, and then it's going to say, you know, New Folder. Just call it Mods. Hey, James, how are you doing? 
Hey, thank you for becoming a member over here. I'm not sure why Sound Alerts is not popping off. There he goes. There he goes. Thank you, James. We do appreciate you. Welcome over here, man. So make sure that you do have a mods folder, okay? Another reason why we're going we're gonna to be really heavy into this folder right here. That, that's going to be our main bread and butter when you're installing a lot of mods is the mods folder. So my next advice is, you know, this folder, when you click on it, it's going to be empty because you just created a, a new folder. What you're going to do then, see that little update folder right there? That is outside your mods folder, okay? You want to leave that alone. Make sure you never touch that. You're going to right click. You're going to copy. Click that little button right there. You're going to go into your mods folder, open it up. Make sure you're in the mods folder and you're going to right click and you're going to paste. I've already done this. And if you have an SSD, it will go a lot faster. Hey, Devin. Hey, thank you, man, for that. Don't know, man. You appreciate that. It's so slow to recognize the donos, but I'll be sure to, to um, give you a shout out. 32 ounce uh, Yeti cup full of coffee there, Sean. Nice. Okay, so that part's done. All right, so uh, we don't need to sit there and wait for all of that. All right, so the next step is to download LSPDFR. Now, I've already done all this. If you guys are just now drifting into stream, yeah, everything I'm talking about is in a link provided as a zip file. I tried to paste it as a in the description. It wouldn't allow me to paste it because it's too long and this is the reason why. This is what it looks like. This is what we're gonna be installing today. And like I said, I don't have to go to these links. I've already done it, okay? So makes a lot, the stream go a lot smoother. And then we're gonna go ahead and download LSPDFR, which you've already done it. So we're going to pull up LSPDFR manual install. I like to do it manually for a really good reason, and that's because I want to see where everything is going to end up. If you get caught up in a, you know, auto install, it doesn't help you in the future. It doesn't help you become a better modder. It doesn't help you become a better, uh, a better person as far as installing these mods. I want you guys to know the ins and outs to doing all this. That way you can do this stuff. You know, you can actually install things easier in the future and not have everything automated. Okay. Except for OIV files. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. So let's go to manual install. And it looks like this whenever you open it up. Just like this. All right, Devin. Yeah, it'll be uploaded on YouTube. Thanks for popping in, man. All right, so this is a LSPD far manual install. And remember, you know, this is the main game directory. And if you have a problem finding your, your main game directory, uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Uh, let's see, if I go to Steam, like if you're on Steam, let me show you a little uh, real quick pro tip here, okay? So if you go to Steam, this is my Steam here. Don't judge me about my games, okay? Go to library, okay? And you'll see, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 in your library. You can go to right click, go to properties, uh, go to local files right here, and then browse local files right here. Right now it's 101 gigabytes. That's mainly because we copied over our update folder. So we're going to browse, and there's your main game directory. Now, Epic Game Users, you know, you can find that too. Just, you know, do a little search on Google or something like that. You'll find it pretty easy. All right, let's pull up our main. Let's see where's it at. Right here. There. Okay, so this is a simple drag and drop procedure, guys. Uh, you'll notice it has a plugins folder. It has an LSPDFR in lower caps. Okay, that is super important. The reason why I'm telling you all that. So uh, these two folders, you'll notice that they're not here. So it, they're going to be added into your main game directory. Now we do not need licenses. So it doesn't matter if you install it. If you just want to be lazy and just do this, 
you can do that and then hold down your left control click off licenses really not that necessary it has rage hook already inside see right there rage plugin hook is already in there so you don't have to go grab it anywhere else so we're going to grab this and we're going to drag and drop now remember we we already have a clean install of Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, as a copy like I said I highly encourage you to do that we're gonna drag this right into here and it's just going to fall boom you just installed LSPD fire congrats pro tip from Benzo All right LSPD fire is installed we're done <laughs> So that part's done. All right, so now the next step that I normally would not do it in this order, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We need to go ahead and install script hook, okay? Because there's something a little special that we're going to do first. So let's go ahead and grab script hook and it's gonna be back over, let's see, where's it at? There it is. All right, so let me grab this. Okay, this is script hook whenever you go and download this. And like I said, all the links are down below. <laughs> a dark cluster, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's going to be a long process, but once you get everything kind of laid out, it should be good. Script hook V, script hook 5, however you want to say it. Then folder, just going to open it up. And I don't use native trainer. I don't like it. Never have. We're going to select both these files. We're going to click off of native trainer. We don't need it. And we're going to drag these two files right into the main game directory. Boom. Cryptook is now installed. See a pattern here? So there's a, another little thing that I've already done a video about. It's called skip intro. And the reason why I want to install this is because we're going to be bouncing back and forth into our game and I want to get to the load, the load screen as quick as possible. So we're going to uh, open this file here. It's called load game faster. Oop, hold on, got it right here. Here it is. So it is uh, skip intro.asi. Okay, you need script hook in order to run this. So that's why I did it this way. So we're going to do skip intro right here. And we're going to drag this little file right here into the main game directory. That is done. So I'm going to be going in steps. And I'm going to, now we're going to load up. We need to make sure LSPDFR is loaded. Make sure it's working correctly before we install any other mods. This goes for, you know, even for veterans out there, you know, that want to install 20 mods at a time. I would suggest that you do exactly what I'm about to do. And that is, go ahead and fire up LS, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. And we're going to just load it up. Yeah, that skip intro, uh, you'll see how it works. Uh, I like it because it's pretty nice. Now, the reason why I'm going in story mode first, just I want to make sure nothing's corrupted, nothing's wrong, okay? So this is the reason why I'm doing it. I just want to load in real fast, and then we're going to, we're going to exit back out. And then we're going to fire up Rage Hook. This is a pretty chill stream. Watch an Aquaman for the first time, Manuel. No, it's, not, it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the Aquaman, uh, it was a pretty decent movie. It was, it kind of was under the radar for a little bit. All right, cool. So we got into the game. Uh, we just want to make sure, you know, that you know we can actually function, you know. Okay, y'all hear the gun sounds, right?
Hey. Gun sounds suck. Listen to the sirens, okay? You hear the sirens? We're replacing all this shit. See the graphics? We're replacing all of that. Do you see a street name at the bottom left? No, you don't. We're replacing all that too. See the, the weapon fire rate? We're replacing all that too. See the vehicles? Replacing all that, you get the drift. Okay. Now let's do, let's make sure we can load Raid Choke now. So what we want to do, go back to your main game directory. See your Raid Choke? It's right there. And you'll see it inside your main game directory because you, you just installed it with LSPDFR. Now my advice is to right click on Raid Choke. Uh, you want to go ahead and send this to your your desktop and it is right here so now you can uh, you can also pin this down to the taskbar which is nice we're going to go ahead and fire this up and you'll see what it does for the very first time so we're going to go ahead and start it and we're going to accept Full time ins uh, first time installation, you want to make sure you back up game version in case they you know, come out with an update it doesn't really work well with the newest Rage or even LSP or whatnot, you can back your game version up and I'll talk to you about that in just a second. This takes just a second to do this by the way. All right, and this is your your main uh, console right here for Rage. So we have general settings, console key of four. You guys probably already know about that. My advice right off the bat, uh, go ahead and set this for 60,000. What that does, it allows your plugins to load a little more effectively, especially if you have a, like a lower end or even a kind of a moderate end style PC. It allows all the plugins we're about to load in later on in the video or the stream rather it allows them to load in more effectively. If you have it at 10,000, uh, you know, it's gonna want to load in just a few of them and it may crash your game. All right, so if you get those infinite loading screens, that little thing that spins to the right down at the bottom, uh, or if it just doesn't load, it crashes or whatnot, try making sure this is set to 60,000. All right, if you go to plugins, the only thing we're gonna have is LSPD fire first response. But notice what it defaults to. This is what kind of bugs me about Rage, is that it says don't load any plugins on startup. We don't like that. You can click on this; it'll load it'll load all these plugins in startup. But we want to make sure at least LSPD is loaded, right? I mean, it makes sense. That's what we just installed. That's what we want to do right there. Yeah, lower end PC. That's not. It's not really terrible. Uh, to be honest with you, Dark Cluster, uh, it's kind of upper end of low, uh, maybe low moderate, to be honest, like a, like a, because the high end PCs nowadays are like 30, 60s and up, right? Uh, mine's more of a upper end of moderate, but you're, you're not low, you're, you're on the upper cusp of low, you know what I mean? So this is what you want to make sure that, that you have plugins, load these plugins on startup, or if you're lazy, you can always click on that. And that way, when you add new stuff in here, it'll always get loaded no matter what. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just do this for argument's sake. Uh, advanced settings, you don't really need to mess with this too much. I'd leave it alone. Game settings, uh, command line switches. If you want to mess with this, you can. If you're having trouble loading into the game, if your game's just not loading effectively, Sometimes Windows has a tendency to not want to load your games prop, you know, uh, effectively. You can go to command line switches right here. And then I wouldn't go into safe mode or any of that other stuff right there. Go down to force Windows mode right there. And it will force your game into windowed only mode until you get into the game. And then, of course, you probably don't want to play like that. So then you press escape, go to settings, go to display. Make sure it's on full screen at that point. Does that make sense? So we're going to leave this alone. 
I'm going to go back up to here. And then if they have an update for GTA 5, which they will because they love to milk the hell out of everybody, you can go to revert game version. Now, we only have one game version right now. But if they update something, we can always, you know, uh, it'll, it'll show a different game version here when we update. And then you can revert. It'll have a revert uh, area right here. You can revert your game back to the another game version. And it usually will work. All right. Yeah, Sean's, Sean's right. I always do 60,000 anyway. So we're going to leave that alone. Uh, F4, of course, uh, that's the default console key to bring up the Rage menu. Uh, I kind of have gotten used to F4, so I, I, like, I like to leave it alone. And we're going to save, and we're going to launch. I'm going to take you to another screen right here if you want to get back to the Rage menu. Uh, it's these, this little icon over here. When you double click, hold your shift key for about two to three seconds, and then it will get to the menu you were just looking at. Click on OK. And fingers crossed, it's going to load with rage. Yeah, alt enter. That's a good that's a good point, Sean. I really didn't think about that. Okay, did y'all like that skip intro? Did y'all even notice it? We're already into loading screen, man. We're going to loading story mode. And then what should be loaded is LSPDFR only. It'll pop up here in just a second. Boom. There it be. And there you go, Dark Cluster. I just read what you said there. All right, we got in. Now, if you're unable to get in, you know, what you may want to do is, you know, turn off your, I wouldn't suggest this, but if you have to, turn off your firewall, okay? And turn off any antiviral software you're running, you know, like malware bytes, Windows Defender, these kind of things, uh, Norton, you know, these kind of things. You may want to uh, think about turning those off uh, just to get into the game. Uh, just to make, I'm sorry, just to make sure that your, you know, your LSP FAR can actually be installed correctly. So if this is the case, what you're going to have to do is turn those off, uh, reinstall LSP FAR on top of that, and then try to load into everything. You know what I mean? See, see if you can get into the game that way. All right. So we are technically not on duty yet, but if you, if you click your escape key, we should see now some police stations. There's one right there. And we're about right there. Uh, we're going to head over here. Wait, I'm sorry. Here, Mission Row. Right there. It's just down the street. You should see little police icons. But we can't go over there because I, I can't teleport over there because we haven't installed the trainer yet. So, uh, hey, sir. Hey, can I borrow that car? Thanks. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hey. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, what? He's red on my mini-map. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're going to the police station. Oh, shit, I forgot. We got the... Ah, oh, five oh. We gotta lose these guys, otherwise we can't go into the police station yet. <laughs> Leave me alone. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I gotta lose these cops. 
But I'm going to show you an easier way so that well, that way you don't have to worry about all the cops and stuff, you know, going to going to the job and, you know, why not? Okay, we've almost lost him here. Oh shit. Yeah, don't go that way yet. <laughs> I have to wait for it to clear. You don't want to have a one level going into, you know, into the station. You know what I mean? Oh shit, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm sure people on YouTube are like, God, Enzo, just go to the station. Well, I can't. Get him off of us for now. Still like the slowest car too. Run, Forrest, run! Okay. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Still got two stars. We're almost to that point. Almost there, guys. Maybe this is good to see, you know. Okay, we, we're good. Uh, maybe this is good to see in case this ever happens to you, right? Where you flip over and look like an idiot. Yeah. Alright, so get your ass to the police station. Not wanted anymore. So, so uh, any PlayStation will do. Hello. I'm drunk. drunk. And a lot of people don't appreciate Ellis pretty far. This is kind of cool stuff, right? Be nice. So, uh, with Ellis pretty far being loaded, technically they should leave us alone if we go into the police locker room. So that that's one reason why uh, it does that. But obviously, if you hit somebody and you get a one level, it's not a good thing. So, we're going to enter here. We have to go to... Uh, let me show you one thing, too. If you bring up F4... Okay, it's your Rage console, right? If you type in Force Duty... Okay, I uh, have a feeling... Let's see if it works. I don't know if it will. Yeah, okay. So, look at the top left. It says, please go on duty at least once to select an outfit... You know, outfit and an agency so that's what that's the error message you're going to get at the top left so you can't force duty either you got to go here first have to go here first we're going to go press e and we're going to uh let's see here let me let me back out just for a second because I, I just want to do a double check Okay, let's make sure. Okay, now let's do it. Let's go on duty. I know, right, Mike? They should know that, you know, I'm Sergeant Benzo, so they should leave me alone. Okay, uh, once again, this is LSPD Far 0.4.9 as of the making of this, uh, we're this, doing this live stream. We're going to go on duty. And then you need to select a character to, to, to use LSP4. Would you like to go to the character selection menu now? We're going to go ahead and go to yes. We're not going to spend too much time here uh, because I can do a lot more other things. Oh, man, it looks just like me. Uh, actually, has more hair. Okay. So we want to go female. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to go heritage. Why do I have to be a fat, bald fuck? <laughs> you assholes. We're not going to mess too much with this.
Look at that unibrow, bro. But my, I would encourage you to spend a little more time than what I'm about to do because it's a lot more fun when you load into your character and, and the character already looks the way you want it. So that's, that's all I would suggest. Okay. All right, let's get rid of this freaking um, unibrow, bro. I, I just, it's bothering me. <laughs> uh, when I get, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time because people are on YouTube right now are watching this and I don't want to waste their time. Okay, so that'll work. Just kidding. Oh, I can't, I cannot do that. Hey. <laughs> Why don't we get any sponsors, guys? Okay, uh, you know, facial hair, uh, please. I uh, will just go with the light stubble, yeah. Once I got the full beard, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, that'll work for now. Eye color, technically, I have more light brown. Yes, please. Uh, let's go to features real fast. Uh, you can mess with all this shit, you know. We don't want too much time. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, let's just change the, the hair real fast. It's more like Doug's character there. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. It, I'm not really too picky on this. All right, so what you want to do then is you need to save and continue. It's going to ask for your name, and um, I don't think it'll allow me to do two names unless they change this. I, I doubt it. Um, we'll try two names. Oh, I guess it will now. It didn't used to do that. Okay. I uh, see. I don't think it'll let me see. What will it? Okay, maybe it did. There we go. <laughs> Benzo, one hundred percent. All right. So you know the cheeks are a little bit heavy. You know I can go back and change all that if I want to. So we know this. Uh, we want to stay in the. Uh, we don't want to go off duty yet because we want to make sure that we can pull somebody over. Okay. So let's go to uh, the garage. Stop being a girl. <laughs> That's right. All right. It really doesn't matter what we pick. All right. We are on duty officially. See to the left there. So right now the graphics look like crap. I just want to make sure that I can actually pull somebody over. I'm just checking some things out real fast. You know, I use uh, ELS so much. I'm trying to remember the default controls for non ELS. Does anybody remember the default controls to hit the lights? It used to be Q, but uh, that's more for 5M. Does anybody remember that? <laughs> so bad at this. All right, so that's that's a good sign. Uh, that's just GTA there. Can't remember. I think it's the alt key. No. Uh, let's see. The E key. Nah. Not the E key. Citizens report a robbery. Okay, give me a sec. Mirror Park gas station. Units respond code three. 
Uh, I don't use uh, Nani LS, so I can't remember. Oh, I think it's... No. Give me a sec. The G. Just trying to activate the damn lights. Oh, there it goes. Number pad nine key. And then I think it's the alt key. No, not that. Okay, as the reason why I'm doing all this is I want to see if I can actually pull somebody over. I just thought of a mod that we need to install too. Okay, I just pressed the shift key and we're trying to get this guy pulled over. Just make sure you stay on him. Come on, bro. We're just checking things out, making sure they're working. Bro. Okay, so uh, there's a, a really good demonstration as to why you need custom pullover, okay? So we'll be installing that a little bit later. So he's right in the middle of the damn road, you know what I mean? But I want to make sure that we can actually talk. And the reason why I'm not in a police uniform is because I didn't go through the proper settings in the police station, which we don't really need because I'm going to show you how to do some really cool stuff. All right, so you, you can press E. This is the default stuff. You know, uh, now you got a problem. That's, okay, you hear that kill flum? We're going to change that too. All right, backup. Give me code three backup. <laughs> uh, let's see, local. Attention all, units. all right. Assistance in mission row. So we know we know this mod is working. Okay, now let's back out. See, that is default LSPDFR, which is uh, actually, in my opinion, kind of shitty, you know. So now we're going to install the cool stuff. Here we go. All right, so once again, the document that I have down in the description, guys, has everything we're going over right here. Everything. And there's some helpful tips in here, okay? So right here, we want to change the LSB for our keys so you don't get double menus with stop the ped. We're going to do that in just a minute, but we're going to go ahead and actually do it right now. It's a little bit, it's a little bit better to do it that way. So what we want to do is we want to change the default keys. So what you want to do then is go to your main game directory, go to LSBDFR, click on that. You're going to go to keys. It is a configuration setting. It should open in notepad. So we want to double click and then we want to find traffic stop interact. So stop the pet is going to take over all of this for us, but we don't want the overlapping menus. So go down to traffic stop and you want to go to traffic stop interact key. Make sure this says none. You see it there. All right. Take care. Dark cluster. All right, so uh, we're going to go traffic stop interact. Make sure this says none. And I do believe on the controller, okay, if you're playing on a controller and you're and you're also using stop to ped, uh, make sure the controller key also is none as well. Because if you leave it like this and you're playing with the controller and you walk up and press D-pad right, uh, you're going to get double menus. So I don't use the controller to talk to people, I only use my controller to drive, if that makes sense. And then my controller goes in my lap, and I've got, 
you know, muscle uh, you know, memory for all this stuff. But if I wanted to, I can set this to none as well if I ever wanted to use the controller. And we're going to press save. All right. So that part is done so that way they get no overlapping menus. All right, the next thing, this is for people that have texture loss. People that are, when we install these vehicle packs here in just a minute, uh, texture loss is going to plague your game. It happens to uh, all of us. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM and it, it's not always usually all about RAM. A lot of it has to do with GPU and things like that as well as processor. So my advice is to make sure you go to your, uh, once again, I'm gonna back up just for a sec, this little folder again. Uh, it is just lowercase letters. Click on that. Go to LSPDFR inside this folder. And then I'm going to click on this right here, okay? We're gonna open this up. And then it's uh, main preload all texture models. Make sure this is set to false. You're gonna thank me later, okay? You don't change that you're gonna have you know have buildings disappearing and everything else I can already hear the comments when this gets uploaded to YouTube and people are gonna ask this question how come it's doing that okay I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to change in here uh, we will change the override stuff later uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute so we're going to just save this for now. That's done. We're going to back up, go to our main game directory. Okay. Uh, the next one is script hook. I'm sorry. Um, the next one is the trainer. This is a simple trainer. Highly recommend it. We need script hook in order to run this. You want to click on your simple trainer, your I and I and the ASI. Just like that and you want to pull it right into your main game directory. That's done. Uh, let's see here. The next one is, uh, let's see, Visual V. Okay, maybe we'll do that in just a minute. Let me add this to the list. We'll add it a little bit further down here. Okay, so the next step, guys, is to make sure you have OpenIV installed. Hopefully, uh, most of you guys already know a little bit about OpenIV. But if you if you don't know about OpenIV, uh, make sure you install that. I've got an OpenIV install tutorial. It takes about five minutes to watch that. Now, mine is right here. I'll pin onto my taskbar. And I already have it directed to my uh, newer SSD drive that has the main game directory. All right, so this is what it looks like, okay? Remember, we already copied over a mods folder, okay? If you don't know what we're talking about, it's because you missed the first part of the stream. How dare you? Okay. Seriously, how dare you? How dare you? Okay, so we want to make sure that we are into our Open IV. We're going to move it over here. And we're going to install a few things into Open IV. Now, I am using EUP 9.3 beta. It's the latest version at the moment. It is by Alex Ashfold. And we need to get this into OpenIV. So the way you do this is um, you can turn on make sure edit mode is on, but I'll show, I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's go to EUP. And you're going, when you download, um, you're probably going to, if you find one, um, you know, I, I put Alex Ashfold's Discord on there. What I really should have put is his Patreon. So if you go to Google and just type in Alex Ashfold Patreon, uh, you will have access to these packs. It's, it's like something like $4.99. You could just pay one time, or I think they have a, a, a 9.2, which is really not a big difference between 9.3. You could actually I get that one. I think it's for maybe $1.99 or something. It's crazy. 
So what we're going to do now is uh, you'll probably end up with, uh, I've already did an install tutorial for, e, uh, for EUP 8.2. So you could always do that if you wanted to follow along. You could download the 8.2 version, but I'm going to be installing 9.3. Okay. So once you open up OpenIV, uh, in edit, edit mode needs to be on. Okay. And what we want to do first is make sure our, our ASI managers are installed. You may get a blue message just like this. ASI managers are super important. Uh, you have to install these in order for things to work effectively. Okay. It's a must. You have to install it. So ASI manager, uh, we're going to pull up this right here. And uh, let's pretend uh, that this is not installed here, okay? If yours looks like this, it's not a big deal, okay? So these are in blue. Go ahead and install ASI Loader. And you're going to install OpenIV.ASI. And I like to use a lot of Rockstar Editor. So I would encourage you to do the same if you want to, you know, expand your boundaries whenever you're doing, you know, thumbnails or if you just want to get really good shots with Rockstar Editor. Uh, make sure the open camera is installed as well and then you're done with that so we're going to be working in the mods folder but the cool thing about an oiv file which is eup we're going to drag and drop this anywhere you want doesn't matter okay so we're going to drag and drop the eup and we're going to just like literally drag and drop just like this and then you're going to click on install it needs to go to the mods folder and then once it looks like this uh, it'll already find your pathway and everything because you're already in OpenIV. Go to install. Everybody bored yet? Miss Press, I told you you'd be bored if you're still here. All right, installation succeeded. I'm going to click on close. And there's one more thing that I forgot to do on that list. There's always something. And that is we need to get the EP menu. So I'm going to go to my recommended plugins page because I really like that. And we're going to go to uh, textures, heads and uniforms right here. We need we need to have the EP menu and okay, we have to have that. We're going to download this. Boom. And agree. All right, Miss Press. <laughs> All right, menu is there. Put this over here. Okay. So. We need the EUP menu installed and we'll do that in just a minute. So we just installed Law & Order. Uh, once again, this is 9.3, only available if you uh, support Alex Ashfold through Patreon. And like I said, it's only $4.99. Uh, you can cancel after a month and you can still use it. All right, serve and rescue, same way. This is this will give you the firefighter outfits, you know, and uh, the security uniforms, a bunch of other stuff. We're going to take the serve and rescue. And once again, it doesn't matter where you go, you just let it fall. And you just click on install. Make sure it goes to the mods folder only. And click on install. Yeah, John, we're going to be installing a vehicle pack in a minute. And I'll show you how to do the textures. All right, so we're done with that. And so we are going to do one more thing here. I think those are the main things. We're going to reduce open IV for now. Right? We don't really want to close it out yet. So we need to install EEP menu. So let's do the menu. Okay. We're going to open this up and you're going to see files right here. Open this up. It needs to have a rage native UI. Okay, now pay a close attention to this part here, guys. Uh, this Rage Native UI is pretty old. You can see it's uh, from 1231-2017. We're going to end up replacing it in a minute anyway. But I just want to point out that if your game is not, if some of the mods that you install is not working correctly, 
and you can't see, you know, like uh, some of the text above the mini map, uh, the menu system for stop the ped, ultimate backup, these things are not working right. It's probably because you have an outdated Rage Native UI. So make sure you're installing a more updated Rage Native UI. But I'm going to go ahead and install it anyway, but I'm going to override it here in a little bit. But I need to make sure that the uniforms and things are working correctly. So I'm going to drag these right into our main game directory. All right, so the plugins folder, it's going to be right here. Okay, so we're going to back up and it's going to go right into here. See right here, this is your, your plugins. Uh, you don't have an a, a LSPDFR folder inside your plugins folder. We're going to work with that in just a minute. So you should only have LSPDFR first response if you started fresh. So what you want to do is grab both of these, drag them anywhere uh, where there's a blank space, and you're going to let it drop. Okay, done. All right, so you know what the next step is? We need to make sure that the the game can can actually work correctly. One quick pro tip again from Benzo is we need to get to the Rage menu again. So once again, you see the Rage native, uh, the Rage icon right there. We're going to double click that, hold down shift key. I'm holding down my shift, left shift. And we're gonna get to the Rage menu. Go to plugins. Notice the EUP menu is not checked off. You have to check that off. Or like I said, you could be lazy and click on this. But yeah, like I said, for the sake of argument, we're going to do EUP menu and LSP for first response. Make sure that's checked off and save and launch. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing I got to do. Hold on. Exit, exit. Yes, I know. One more thing we got to do first. My bad. Okay, so there's one little thing also, and I included this as well, is the EUP config, okay? Now, these are the configs that you get from Alex Ashfold whenever you join his Patreon, okay? Th these will give you the preset outfits that we'll end up using, okay? So what we want to do is open up the EUP configs. Now, not to be confused with ultimate backup configs, we'll install those later, but you want to go to EUP configs. We're going to open this up. And then my advice is just go to, I uh, do believe just this one right here. Uh, yeah, this is the one I want to use right here because I'm going to be using ultimate Mike backup configs. Hey, Magby. Uh, did you just renew it or something like that? I don't know why. It looks weird on the screen like it's not showing anything. So once again, this is a plugins right here. And you'll see it goes into EUP and then preset outfits. So if you, if you notice a minute ago, uh, all we had was a EP menu. So we need to get to the preset outfits. Okay. This is just the menu right here. We're going to back up. We're going to back up again to this plugins folder. I'm going to drag and drop it right into my main game directory. So now we should have a folder inside here called EP. And then here's the preset outfits right there. So now, I can actually launch the game. We're going to see if everything works correctly. Yeah, that's uh, this is another example of why you know, the YouTube API is still messed up, right, guys? So I had to turn off subscriber notifications. So you guys, if you're watching on YouTube and you're unable to type in here, that's because we have it set to members only. Reason why we have it set like that is so we don't get a lot of trolls in here, spamming a lot of stuff, put extra work in the moderators and things like that. And I've got the, uh, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube right now, I've got the members you know, set to the lowest possible that they would allow me. It's like a dollar and 99 cents. Okay. That's the lower level recruit type of thing. You're more than welcome to do the higher if you want, <laughs> but it's like a dollar 99. Okay. A lot of other YouTubers, 
they use the default $4.99. I'm not going to call them out, but they know who they are. All right, look what's being loaded in. We got EUP menu and LSPD first response. But all this information, all these hours and hours of work, if, if you don't think that's worth a dollar and 99 cents, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Sure, Sean. I have no filter over here on YouTube. <laughs> no, I don't do it, Sean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But at least I took the, the time to go in there and lower it down. You know what I mean? As low as possible. Okay, so our outfit's going to completely change in just a second here. We're not on duty yet. Okay, but because we have been on duty at least once, what we're going to do... Why am I lagging right now? should not even be lagging. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure why. <laughs> there you go, Sean. All right, so if you've already got your police character set and you get used to all this stuff, you can be anywhere in the world. It doesn't really matter on, you know, within San Andreas. Uh, you could type in the number four key and just type in force duty and hit enter and it'll put you right onto duty. Now, like I said, you know, you're going to look like this for now. Okay. But in a minute, See, I like to, you know, pretend like you're already on duty, but the cool thing is the default key is F11, by the way. Okay. And then you want to go to EP Law and Order, and then you can start selecting things that you want. Okay. You know, take your time a little bit, you know, you can, you can go into all kinds of stuff. But this uh, 9.3 beta is pretty awesome. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in here. Just showing you a few things. Here's me going to court. You know what I mean? And you can also do LSSD. I'm gonna be a sheriff. Tons of other stuff. Or a winter patrol right there, guys, later. Gonna be a bike cop. Kinda cool, right? Just showing you a few things. All right, so you get the drift, right? And you can also do, uh, let's see here. Kind of cool, right? Here's the uh, group sex thing we did the other day. Or group six, six, yeah, group six. Somebody corrected that in my, the YouTube comments. He said, I think it's pronounced group. Group six. It has a little innuendo, if you know what I mean. Yeah, bouncer episode, right? All right, so you get the drift on most of the stuff, right? So that's uh, serve and rescue there. And you could also, like I said, you could do watch my EUP install tutorial. And I go over most of the stuff with you already, so there's no reason to go through all this. I'm just installing these mods, okay? All right, that is working correctly. Uh, let's see, wardrobe, if you want to create an outfit, you can. And then you can also save it. So there, there you go. Okay, so EUP is working correctly. All right, and once again, if you don't... If your EUP is not working correctly, more than likely you did not install your ASI managers like I just spoke about. All right, that's done. And we're going to exit. Stream elements is all jacked up for whatever reason. It must have forgotten that I've been members for three years. <laughs> Foss stream elements. <laughs> that is very true. Hey there, tree boss. Hey, welcome to the family, man. Welcome family. All right, guys, so we are done with that part. Let me get back to our main game directory real fast. So we have EUP installed. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's go to... Uh, and by the way, guys, if you're not joining the stream, uh, these are my notes that I'm going off of. It's a lot of things to go by. It's going to speed up here in just a minute, uh, the stream. Once you get more comfortable in things. Uh, this is this is a, a, a zip file that I put for you on Mediafire. I put a link in the description. And the reason why I had to do that is because I ran out of space in the description for the links. I'm sure you guys understand that. Okay, we have simple. Oh, I forgot to test out simple trainer. It, it should work because we have script took in there. All right, we have EUP done. One thing, okay, we're going to do also is uh, a thong, uh, a thong, a thong. We're going to put on a thong, okay? And we're going to do, do a mod called skin control, okay? This is probably one of my favorite mods of all time, and it's really old, but. I really like it because it will give you a lot of control over your character on the fly and it gives you 25 save slots and it's such a simple thing to install main game directory take the skin control and you just installed it you're done okay we are done with that so we will mess with that in a minute all right, so now I think it's time that we install a visual mod, okay? Because the game looks kind of dull. So in today's stream, we're going to install a free one, and it is Visual V. I do like Make Visuals Great Again. Uh, Make Visuals Great Again is really a, a fantastic visual mod. Uh, however, if you are not happy with certain times of the day, it can make your, your cars look a little bit too shiny. If you have it on extra sunny and it's about um, maybe about six or seven o'clock in the evening, it can make your vehicle look a little shiny. So it's a little bit off putting, but if you move the time around a little bit, it looks fantastic. It's just that one little thing. And then visual V, the con with that one is when it gets nighttime, it's very dark. So that's the only downside about visual V, but we're going to install visual V anyway. And we have it right over here. I'm going to bring it up here. I need to find it. Here it is. Okay, so Visual V, it's a simple install process. We're going to open this up. These are your original files. The good thing about Visual V, oh, oh, I'm sorry, let me back up a little bit. Uh, Make Visuals Great Again, like I said, it's a really great mod to install. It's installed very similar to what I'm about to show you. However, to uninstall Make Visuals Great Again, it's a little detail. It's, it's hard. You have to look at the manual install and then find all the files and delete them out. And it just makes it for a little bad experience when you're trying to uninstall Make Visuals Great Again because the author did not make an uninstaller. These are the original files in case you really need that. Uh, so you can go out here and then you can literally throw this in there and go back to the original. But we are going to go to... Uh, installation via mod package and let me look at this real fast there's a few other things you can install if you want I wouldn't worry about EMB settings or any of that other stuff I hate motion blur personally but let's go to installation via mod package and we're going to drag this right here and we're going to drag it right into open IV edit mode needs to be on which it is and we're gonna go like this Hey, True Boss. Yeah, glad to have you, man. So we have it right there. We're going to install. Make sure it goes to mods folder. And then click on install. Yeah, motion blur. I just don't like it. And we're done. Now, I feel comfortable that we don't have to fire up the game right now. So we're going to keep going. Okay, so we're going to go to, uh, I've already I already downloaded all these things, okay, to make the, the stream go faster. But let's go ahead and go to Bajojo's website. I'm going to show you just a couple of things here, guys. Bajojo, of course, you guys already know, he's the maker of Stop the Pet, Ultimate Backup, CompuLite, Speed Radar Light, ALP, ALPR Light, and a couple of call-out packs. These are the best mods, hands down, to use for LSPDFR. 
think everybody would agree with that by about 98%, except for maybe Jeff Aviano. <laughs> uh, Jeff uh, tends to not really appreciate the, the constant updates. But to be all fair, it was like that at the beginning. Uh, now he, oh, did they just update something else? Look, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said anything. New updates, October 13th, ultimate backup. <laughs> How funny. Well, I'm glad I'm reading this now because I, I downloaded this morning. So maybe Jeff has a point. <laughs> I doubt Jeff is even watching this, but if he is, he's got a point. He does update quite a bit, actually. And it gets a little frustrating. So if you're just now watching this and you're, and you're in the background and you can't type in chat, don't worry about it, guys. I feel your pain. So there's a new update for Ultimate Backup. So let's go ahead and download that now. I got everything else downloaded, by the way. 44 minutes ago, guys. Look. <laughs> I'm not going to go over all this. It'd be ridiculous. We're going to download this. My advice is to use Google Chrome. A lot of people are using Internet Explorer and they're getting flagged. It, it's flagging all kinds of shit because it does not like this site. But do you see any ads, by the way? Do you see any ads? Oh, you don't because I'm using ad blocker. And some of you nub cakes out there are not using ad blocker. Why are you not using ad blocker, dumbasses? <laughs> that goes for YouTube as well. It blocks all that shit. All right, so what you want to do is go to right here. See that right there? Little download arrow button there. I get so many comments on YouTube. I don't got the arrow button. I can't find my download. Where's it at? Use Google Chrome, you nubcake. Right here. Right here at the bottom of your screen, bro. Come on. And then just, uh, we're going to drag this over here because I want to use it. Uh, let's go to plugins. Okay. You can also go to these other mirror links. Like I said, it's going to have all kinds of ads because that's how he gets paid. Because nobody else is going to donate to him. I mean, I, I donate to him. But most people don't. Okay, we're going to click on that. Get back here. U.S. Marshall callouts. Yeah, they're kind of far and in between. I'd have to think of some. It maybe do some callout packs. Maybe one that we're... Actually, I think we're installing one today. It has a rush warrant, you know. Yeah, you could use Edge. It does very similar things. Things it has ad blocker, but I don't know why people are not familiar with ad blockers, and yet they complain. I mean, I get uh, a little bit of ad revenue from YouTube, uh, just enough to get a cup of coffee, you know. No, actually, it's like a few dollars a month or something like that. Okay, so we have our... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, one more time. Actually, I already told you. Uh, we just downloaded a bunch of shit from uh, Jojo. So this is what it kind of looks like, what I've already have down, you know, what I've got right here. So we're going to be installing these, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and install... Uh, but Jojo's mod, so I want to make sure I'm going in order here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do ultimate backup, okay? I'm going to make sure I've got the newer one. It's 1.8.70. Okay, this is what it looks like. Uh, let's get out of open IV. I'm just going to reduce it. Get to our main game directory, okay? This is what it should look like right there. Yep, Nick. I agree. So uh, what you, you're going to have an ultimate backup folder, okay? And then you're going to literally uh, don't touch the folder. I mean, don't 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 drag the folder into here. You're not. It's not going to work. You have to open it, okay? You remember what I told you about the Rage Native, Rage Native UI? Uh, we installed an old version a minute ago. Uh, look at this one here. It's from August. That's pretty new. They don't really come out with, with updates very often with those, but that's the latest version right there. 
So if you look at Ultimate Backup, it has an LSPDFR folder in here. This will be our very first time installing all of this. So if you look at plugins, right now we just have an EEP folder because we installed EEP. Uh, the preset outfits, the wardrobe, and like I said, you usually will get that through the EUP config if you sign up with Alex Ashfold's, you know, um, his Patreon account, okay? So that's all we have in there now, but in a minute we're gonna have an LSPD folder inside there. So we're going to drag, drag the plugins folder and the Rage Native UI, and we're going to drag and drop right in here. And there's a Rage Native UI, we're gonna replace that because it's, it's the newer one. Hey, George. All right, so now we need to find Ultimate Backup. Where did it go? Well, it's inside your plugins folder. It's not here. It's inside your LSPFR folder, all caps, inside your plugins folder. And it did not mean you installed Play Smart Radio. It did not mean that you installed Vocal Dispatch. It just means it's compatible, okay? Uh, Vocal Dispatch is severely outdated, but we're going to be installing Grammar Police here in a minute. Uh, Ultimate Backup. What you want to do is go into Ultimate Backup. The very first thing you want to do is see the toggle menu key. You need to change that toggle menu key. So the B key is default LSPDFR police backup. If you do that, you're going to get overlapping menus. So make sure you change that to a capitalized, uh, you know, I found that the U key or ultimate, you know, ultimate backup, right? Or the O key works really, really well. Let's go ahead and make it the U key. Makes more sense, right? And you can read about all these other things. I'm going to see if there's anything else that I want to change. Most of the stuff is pretty good. Uh, there is a couple of things that we will change later because it won't make any sense right now. And I think that is all we're going to do at the moment. Okay. So that's the only thing I'm going to do at the moment. So that you can see the panic button key is the right control key, number pad zero. So if you do right control, number pad zero, you'll, tog you'll toggle a panic button. So like little things like that. I'm not going to go over everything. Besides that, I already did tutorials and all that. We're going to go ahead and save. And we're done with that. Okay. In a minute, we're going to come back and we're going to go into the ultimate backup folder itself and we're going to modify the default regions to make sure our coroner vehicle gets called on correctly. So we will come back to this a little bit later. Let's get back to the main game directory and we're going to continue. The next one is going to be stop the pad. And you'll see a pattern. You already have Rage Native UI, you don't need to reinstall that. Plugins folder, drop. Uh, let's see, what is it replacing here? Oh. If it has to override or anything like that, click here, drag and drop. Uh, you can go ahead and replace, it's fine. Hey, might be. I'm not sure why it's not reading your message. It's being a little douchebag. So Mike says, if you ever decide to stream SLRP over here again, the way you have the chat set up is great. Everyone can watch, but only the selected can chat. <laughs> yeah, I like that, Mike. Well, you might do that. I mean, uh, I think a lot of people would probably get and maybe turned off by that, but uh, we would still have a good time, right? It'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so we're done with installing that. We need to mess with Stop the Pet just a little bit. Let's go to stop the pad and here it is right here. It's the config setting right there. Click on that and open a notepad. I like to leave the default keys pretty much. So the stop the pad interact key is the E key. Context menu is the G key. Okay, so we'll pull up the menus and stuff like that with the G key. A uh, quick grab, I love these things right here. You see me do it all the time in the Alice Pretty Fire videos. If you do love control T, if you're standing near them, you'll grab them. And then I get this question asked all the time on YouTube is how do you tackle somebody? I had a guy just today asked this question. I think it was more on the 5M server. 
Nikki is asking, how do you tackle somebody? Well, that was a that was a 5M script. The tackle function with stop the ped is actually cooler because it looks like you're really tackling them instead of this weird glitchy animation. So if you're if you're sprinting with your enter key, you have to be able to run, and then you press you you can press your backspace key. And you can actually change this key, by the way. And the way you do that is you visit this site right here. You highlight that and go to that website and see what keys are applicable. There's a few keys that are named certain things that may not be called back. Uh, let's see, there's like, see, for example, this right here. See that D8? That is your, your, uh, your eight, your number eight key at the top of your keyboard. That stands for that. So the D8 stands for that number. So if you want to maybe make the tackle button something different, just look on that website right there. It'll help you out. All right, these are the buttons for the controller, if I'm not mistaken. So there's anything else. Oh yeah, there is something we want to change. I do believe. And that is a the forced uh, open screen where it pauses right here. Okay, guys, so I get this question asked all the time on YouTube as well, is how do you keep the screen from popping up in your face when you search somebody or you search a car? How do you get it from pausing your game in that big search window? You want to keep it realistic as much as possible. You want to be able to hear the traffic, you know, whenever you got the search pulled up. You want to be able to hear the traffic whenever you pat somebody down. It doesn't pause your game. I cannot stand that. So what we want to do is force search results full screen. And I'm going to say no. I don't like it. I don't know why you would like it, to be honest. Okay. Anything else we want to change? This looks all good. Uh, some people get turned off by the laser pointer on the... Um, the actual taser, uh, you can actually turn that to no, okay? You can turn that to no if you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on for now, okay? One other important thing with Stop the Ped is if you want to use the, the actual flashlight function with Stop the Ped where it actually uh, uh, pulls it up over your shoulder, you know what I mean? Like if you're looking for something like a suspect and you take your flashlight and pull it up over your shoulder and it has that nice light beam, you want to use stop the ped flashlight. So I'm going to show you how to do this really simple actually. If you go by LSPD far, their default is where you hold it down by your right uh, right hip and then it's got a crappy little beam. So we want to avoid that and we want to make sure enable advanced flashlight, yes. Okay. So we want to make sure we copy this right here. We want to make sure this is set to true. If it's set to true already, that's a good thing. See that little code right there? Left control C. Let's go back over here to your main game directory. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back that shit up. Go to LSPDFR. And then go to LSPDFR config inside this little the lowercase folder. Click on that. And you should see right here, ambient flashlight or ambient disable flashlight override false. Copy that code or you could just come back and just write true right there. Make it easy on you. Save. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to do. I think most of this is okay. There is a weapon system inside Stop the Ped. It's, it's more of a realistic weapon system that is already set up with Stop the Ped. So you will get your pistol, your, your, your main pistol, not a combat pistol, just a regular pistol. Okay. You're going to get a flashlight. Uh, I do believe a nightstick and a taser. And you're also going to get a pump shotgun. Okay. And 
the but the pump shotgun is found inside the vehicle and the the AR-15 rifle or the carbine rifle is going to be found inside your vehicle. If you want to make changes to this, if you're from the UK and you're watching this video right now and you want to make sure that your officers only have a taser because that's the way y'all roll there, okay, then you want to change things here. Okay, you can make these as a taser if you want. See right here, weapon stun gun right there so additional loadouts you can delete all these if you want if you don't want to have a shotgun you know what I mean you can change all this I'm gonna leave it alone because in the United States we roll balls to the wall armed and dangerous hey okay. I'm not gonna change anything else taking too much time Okay, uh, while we're here, I'm going to make real, a one quick little thing, uh, a note here, since we already got this open. We're gonna change our, our corner vehicle, okay? We don't like the Speedo. I don't like the Speedo. It's default, it's ugly, it looks like shit. We're going to change that to another vehicle we're going to install. I already happen to know the name, okay? So we are going to make this a corner, okay? And you'll you'll catch on in just a minute okay so make sure that says corner and stop the ped i hope everybody's paying attention because i'm damn sure not going to come back and time stamp this video no effing way <laughs> i'm not going to do it because it's not worth my time and most people don't care to look at timestamps. stamps we're going to do that i think that's like all all done Back up to main game directory. Okay, so we got stop the PID, ultimate backup. Uh, let's do ALPR light. These are for the plate readers. How do you make your LSPDFR realistic? Uh, describe what you mean by realistic. You gotta be more specific. Uh, I'll turn it on. We'll do it in a minute. Pretty easy. Okay, we're going to continue. So ALPR light, guys. Uh, once again, it's plugins folder. It has an LSPD fire folder. And same thing as the other ones, right? The LSPD uh, plugins folder. Drag and drop into your main game directory. And there's only a couple things I think I want to change. LSPD fire, ALPR light, ALPR light config file. Double click this. And I don't like the F8 because it's going to conflict with my skin control. So I like F10, personally. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to mess with these now because it would take too long. But personally, I think the registration uh, probabilities when you do ALPR, uh, when you have the plate recognition on, uh, these are set way too high. It's going to get very annoying. So my advice is to turn these down. The higher the number, the more probability. The lower the number, the less probability. And then you can leave the blips on, whatever. We'll save that. Uh, let's do CompuLite. CompuLite is very easy. Once again, get in a habit, always back it up. Always go to the main game directory. It makes it easier. You already have the Rage Native UI. Plugins folder, drag and drop. Plugins, the LSPDFR, and then CompuLite. So there's not much I really want to change here, to be honest. Uh, I'm used to all this. We're going to save. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more thing. Yes, there is one thing. Really, super important. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Once again, it, it if you're searching a ped um, up in your police vehicle, you got to hold down your E key. Okay, inside the car for about one and a half, two seconds. It'll pop up the computer, Com CompuLite. OK, 
Okay. If you're on foot, it's left control, the number pad zero key at the same time. And when you look up somebody, it'll pause your game again, freeze the game, and pull up a big menu in front of your face. I hate that. So we're going to make the transition or enable screen transition. Uh, let's see, is it there? No, we want to leave that alone. Maybe this one. Oh, here it is. Uh, is pause when uh, when open? I wonder if the other one said the same thing. I'm going to go back and look at Stop the Pet in just a moment. We're going to set this to no. We want it to pause the game. Okay. Th this part is fine. I like. I kind of like that. We're going to no. Save. Done. Uh, I do want to check Stop the Pet one more time. Yeah, okay, we did it right. Force search results full screen. We have it set to, I changed it from yes to no. I just want to make sure that was right. I uh, like 10 codes and items and things. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute, probably, with grammar place. Most of the stuff I kind of learned by kind of reading and, st and stuff like that, about 10 codes. But we'll talk about it. How we do grammar place. Okay, so one other thing we, I get this question asked a lot is how do I get the extra charges with uh, CompuLite? Because CompuLite only comes with a certain amount of charges. So if you want more realistic style of charges, uh, I already have all these linked, by the way, down below. So it's going to look like this. So I'll show you where to install these. So it's citations and charges. Okay, so go back into your plugins folder, go to LSPDFR, and then you're going to see CompuLite up here, it's little folder. Click on that, and you're going to see, uh, you know, the citations and charges. We're going to drag these right here. These are XML files, and we're going to replace these. We're done. Back it up to main game directory. Yeah, I'll think about it. There, Office 21. I think um, Gavin did as well. Gaza. I think you guys know him as Gaza. Gavin. I think he did some too. Okay, so the next step is speed radar light. And you probably already know what's coming. Drag and drop. And then let's look at speed radar light config just to make sure there's no charge or changes there. Left control I. Yeah, that's fine. Most of the stuff is fine. Okay. Now let's uh, let's do this. Let's install um, another one that is real popular in the LSPD Fire community. It's called Player Location Display, PLD. So we're going to pull up PLD. And uh, we've already installed Script Hook. You have to have Script Hook to get this to work. Uh, make sure you're in your main game directory, okay? And it'll look like this, something similar to this right here. If you're on uh, Epic, I think it'll say GTA V or something like that. Uh, kind of all together but we're gonna go to installation files rent the title 5 and the reason why it's like that is because it goes right into your main game directory so we're going to highlight both of these files for PLD player location display and we're going to drag and drop these right into our main game directory okay so one little thing I was going to give you a pro tip uh, in the link I gave you below if you're looking at what I'm looking at right now, which you should be, uh, it has all the links that we're downloading today. You're going to see a copy and paste thing. And I put copy below into your player location display config. We're going to highlight this. I'm going to do left control C. I'm going to move this off my 
monitor for a second. Player location display, we just installed that. Don't click on the ASI file. Click on this one here, configuration file. Open that up. And notice it looks very similar to what we just copied from over, over here. So we're essentially going to take that code and we're going to replace it. And you, if you look real close, you'll see these position coordinates right here. See 320, that matches. But you see this right here, the the actual uh, the Y coordinate is 980. Uh, these are real similar. Yeah, pretty much it's just that one thing right there. Well, I could have just told you to do that. But for argument's sake, we're going to copy that right there. And we're going to save it. That way the player location display the text at the bottom where it has the street names. It'll get placed right next to your, your map, your mini map, and it looks a lot better. Hey Rainbow. How's it going? Long time no see. Okay, so that is done. Uh, let's do... Another one, another one. There's only, let's do actually three more. And I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of times I don't usually like to install this many mods. So my advice right now is to go into your game, make sure things are working correctly. But we haven't really installed anything hardcore yet. So like the vehicles and things like that. So we haven't changed the vehicle meta files or anything like that. So the game should technically still work. Okay, but my advice is probably still go ahead and load into the game after you install maybe two or three mods. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth it. Uh, let's do the license plate randomizer. Now the GTA 5 for some reason, especially LSPDFR, loves to pull up the 46 EEK 572. That's 46 Edward Edward King 572. Hey Dean. I hope you're having a good night. Hey, thank you there, Dean. I appreciate that, Dono. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it's set to $5, Mike. I don't know why I set it that way. I'm sorry, man. Mike. Uh, thank you there, Dean. When you need to reinstall us before, but decide to kill two birds with one stone by making a stream out of it. There you go. Hey, Dean, you know. You know what it's like. And uh, actually, you guys should probably thank Sean because Sean, he kind of talked me into to doing this because... He's like, you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Just stream it. Like, yeah, sure. So it kind of forced me into doing it anyway. So, but yeah, thank you, Dean, for that, that dono. You doing okay, Dean? I haven't seen you in a, in a while. You, have you been on vacation, Dean? Or maybe we just haven't run into you on the server. I'm not sure if uh, Dean's a member over here. Maybe he can't type over here. Yeah, sorry about that, Dean. I'm not sure if you are or not. <laughs> I had to do that, Dean, uh, mainly because uh, we we sometimes we get a lot of trolls and stuff, you know, in chat and those kind of things, you know. I'm sure you understand. So sorry about that, Dean. We miss you on the server, man. I'll DM you on Discord. Okay, so guys, uh, the license plate randomizer. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are familiar with the four six E E K five seven two. That's four six Edward Edward King five seven two. It comes over, you know about I'd say about 20% of your license plates are going to come back with a, a that plate number. I don't know why the game code does that, but it does. So what we want to do is we want to replace this with a randomizer and it corresponds with uh, stop the ped um, the whole game itself so it recognizes that pedestrian's car and it'll randomize their license plate for you. So it's kind of cool, right? So the trick is with this one, it goes right into your plugins folder, not this one. Don't put it here. Back it up. It goes here. We'll take the license plate randomizer. This is this little DLL? Put it right there. Done. Now that leads me into uh, Spotlight. So Spotlight is very similar in nature of where it goes. Once again, I'm going to back up just for a sec. Uh, this is the cool thing about Spotlight. I already did a tutorial on this, by the way. Uh, you really only need the Spotlight resources and the Spotlight. Uh, let me let, actually let me check this. Yeah, we do. So yeah, Spotlight resources. 
in the spotlight DLL. Okay, and it goes into your plugins folder. Uh, like I said, guys, get in a, in a habit of not just dragging and dropping into the folder. So we already know it has to go into the plugins folder. So we're right into the plugins. Remember, it doesn't go here. Back it up. Make sure it's just plugins right here. It should be right next to your LSPD for first response. So drag these fi files right here, right into your main game. I'm sorry, the, uh, into your plugins folder. Four six Edward Edward King five seven two. Wanted. Go three back up now. All right, so that is done. If you want to adjust the spotlight resources, uh, the actual uh, the key, it's in the general setting right there, and uh, the editor key key is F eleven. We want to change that to an obscure key that I don't use because the F eleven key is my is my EUP uh, menu. So I'm gonna be lazy here. I'm gonna change this one to maybe f6 i think that may work we'll change it to f6 that way we don't get these pop-ups and stuff like that but to activate it you press the i key i already did a tutorial on this it's three minutes on the internet on youtube I'm not going to go over all the details on that okay is there anything else i want to do real quick before we go into the game so i make sure things are working correctly uh, I guess we'll do one more, and that is Sticky Wheels. Already did a, tu a tutorial on this not too long ago. Back up to the main game directory. And then we're going to do right here. And once again, it goes right into your uh, plugins folder. Back it up. And make sure you're in your main game directory. Uh, like I said, don't drag and drop this here because it's going to end up with the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder inside your Grand Theft Auto 5. Actually, it may merge, but uh, better to open it and then take the plugins folder and you can drag and drop. But I'm going to show you a little trick on this. Uh, we only really need this one. You don't need the update manager for Sticky Wheels. So take Sticky Wheels DLL and you want to get that into your plugins folder right here next to Spotlight, License Plate Randomizer. LSPDFR. Take sticky wheels, drag and drop. Okay, so now this is enough mods I think that I feel comfortable we can load into the game, make sure things are working correctly. So what we want to do is we want to fire up Rage Hook again and hold down the shift key once again for about two seconds. So I'm going to fire this up, hold down the shift key, see what happens here. I already have it. Uh, I was 21. I have it on my media fire, man. That's why I have the that's why I have the link for you, man. That's to my media fire. Okay, so go to plugins. And notice if you have loaded these plugins on startup, remember we just installed license plate randomizer. We just installed spotlight. And we just installed sticky wheels. The lazy man way of doing it, or woman. You can just click here. That way you don't have to mess with this. But if you like to, you know, take off a few things here and there, maybe you don't want to play with that today. You know, maybe it's, I don't know, crashing your game or whatever. You, you don't have to load it with Rage. You can uncheck certain things. And now we're going to save and launch. Yeah, I was 21. I did a tutorial on skin control with EUP. You know, a couple of years ago, you can't find it anywhere. But uh, there's there's a I think a website out there that may have it because I saw it not too long ago, a couple months ago. But I don't know if I trust that. So once I got it, I made sure I installed it on or put it on Mediafire, and then I shared it on that video about two years ago. I'm surprised more people do not use skin control. I love it. Can't go wrong with 25 save slots. Yeah, 
I think I heard tree boss. Okay, now watch what gets loaded here at the bottom of the screen here, guys. Got a crash. That's okay. This is how we learn. It's good to work through these things. We're going to load it again. Sometimes it does that. A little blurry. Yeah, maybe the dim dimensions. I'm only streaming at 1080p, 60 frames, so it's not set for 4K streaming. <laughs> maybe you can lower the resolution on your TV or something. Yeah, we'll see. See if it does it again. We'll try Windows mode maybe in a minute. Sometimes my game just randomly does this when I go to record LSPD Fire content. It'll just crash on me at a random time. But it's it's all about troubleshooting, you know. Okay, crashed again. All right, so now we need uh, let's try the window function. If that doesn't work, then we have to go back and think of things that might have crashed the game. So the things we installed in the main game directory was the PLD, right? So we can always go back and try to maybe the newer update is not compatible, which I don't think it is. I, I don't think that's the reason. But let's go ahead and uh, fire up this, get into the menu. We're going to go to game settings, command line switches. We'll try Windows mode. Uh, just to see and of course sean's right you can do the alt enter you know as you're launching it'll do the same thing pretty much uh, i don't think this is going to work personally we haven't installed really much into well we did the visual package that could possibly be an issue we'll find out yeah Nick well, they call it rage you get rage that's why they that's why they named it that trials and error we'll see if enabling Windows mode works. No, it crashed. So let's do this. Uh, let's go to, I'm not worried about the rage uh, log right there. Cause it's not gonna tell me jack shit anyway. Uh, typically the plugins right there would not cause that. Uh, it's usually something else you know, that we would have installed earlier. Uh, let's see, we did the PLD. It could be a conflict of interest with that. Let's take this out. Um, why did it not delete the files? Uh, it could be skin control. That's always possible. It's a really old mod. I mean, you're talking almost five years. Uh, let's try to pull out PLD. And let's try it now. Let's see what happens. A call out pack. Yeah, we haven't we haven't even installed that one yet. Call out pack. But yeah, sometimes. Plugins really like Windows mode. They hate full screen, and other times it doesn't really matter.
All right, take care, Rainbow. Hey, maybe it's the PLD. It might be player location display that might have been causing that. It, it's all about detective work, right, guys? And maybe PLD doesn't like full screen. I don't. I don't know. I like it when shit breaks. To be honest with you, I'm one of those sadistic fucks that likes shit to break so I can figure things out. Anybody else in the chat like that? I guess I'm one of those sadistic people. I have an OCD. Okay, so it's going to load into the game. So we have uh, windowed mode, which I hate. So what you what you can do now is go to escape, go to settings, I go to display, I'm sorry, graphics, my bad. Uh, go to windowed and make sure it's full screen. Make sure the monitor settings are correct. Hit apply changes, hit enter, and then hit that, and then back to the game, okay? So we're not on duty yet. Uh, the vehicles look like crap because we haven't installed any yet. So we're not on duty yet. You can go here if you want and you can go on duty. But like I said, when you're used to all this stuff, I'll look at, uh, see they're all using, uh, oh, I'm gonna show you too. Okay. So you see the uh, EP, see he has no gun, right? We're gonna fix that in just a minute, okay? Looks stupid. But he's got most of the EP uniform on. And also, look at his... Look at the stripes. The insignias and decals. They're not working correctly, but they will in a minute. Because I'm going to install something pretty cool. Alright, so... Let's make sure things are working. Uh, let's go to F4. Let's go ahead and force duty. Now, it should load... Stop the pet, ultimate backup, things like that. And then let's let it uh, kind of load in here. Let's see if it loads in like it's supposed to. Is it not going to load in all that other stuff? Hmm. Let me try this. Oh, I didn't. Oh, did it, did it go off duty or something? Maybe I went, did I go off duty by chance? Uh, let's see here. Okay, try this. It did. It said off duty. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Sometimes when you load into the game, uh, it will you will already be on duty. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, let's see what this does here. Nah, I don't want to do that right now. All right, let's try to force duty again. Sometimes it'll pitch you off duty. My dogs are barking. I got canine. Canine. All right, let's do force duty again. There it goes. So there we go. So everything's loaded in. ALPR light, compu light, speed radar light, stop the pit, ultimate backup. Those are the main plugins. You could probably do without the ALPR light or the speed radar, but stop the pit and ultimate backup are probably the most essential module ever install. Okay. All right. So that's loaded correctly. And like I said, you know, don't beat yourself up if things are not loading in correctly because uh, there's always a, a reason for everything. Always. 
All right, so we look like shit, so we need to change into our EUP uniforms. We'll just do, you know, something like that. Looks pretty sharp, right? Let's see. Okay, I don't want to get bothered while I'm on the radio or I'm other while I'm getting things set up. Press your M key, go to your police radio, and then say available for calls, no, and then backspace. Uh, cool thing that I want to show you real fast, a lot of people uh, do not know about this, I don't know why, but you press your M key, and then see the actions. Uh, if you go to intimidate, and then uh, just press the backspace key, it doesn't matter. When you press the cap lock, you'll put your hand on your gun when you walk up to a car. So that's kind of cool, right? And another thing too, a lot of people don't know about, because I don't know, I guess people forget about it. Go to your M key. Uh, go to, uh, of course, the, the uh, quick GPS is nice. You can go to your jail. You can go to your apartment, by the way. You can get the coordinates for your, your apartment to make it easy. Okay. Um, go to inventory right there, and you can equip a ballistic shield. And then you just press uh, the backspace key. They have some mods that actually have lights in the front of this. Looks pretty sick. I hardly see anybody using those, but nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. And you can actually pull out your weapon. You know what I mean? So that's kind of cool, right? So for now, we're going to go back to inventory and we're going to remove ballistic shield. Uh, you can also do uh, away our gun. You can also do place evidence marker. There's a mod also out there that does just plain yellow, which I think looks better personally, because LSPD is not going to have FIB markers. So I think they should have probably just left them as yellow. Just like that. That's kind of cool. Um, so there's something else that maybe you haven't went over too much. That's pretty much it. Oh, the another thing too, I get a lot of questions asked on this. First of all, we want to pick these up, walk up to them, press E. And it gives a realistic animation of picking them up, which is nice. And also, I think they had a bug on there one time that if you're across the map, you could be clear across the map. If you press your E key, you know, you're going to do that a lot with Stop the Ped, right? Uh, you'll, you'll come back to this location and you'll be animated picking them up. So make sure they're all picked up. Here we go. And then we want to make sure, uh, let's go to back to the M, the M key. A lot of people ask me, how do I get the certain animations whenever, uh, let me back up the time a little bit. I'm going to go to F3 with my simple trainer. Uh, let's go here to time. Uh, let's back it up a little bit so you guys can see. We're going to change the siren in a minute, too. All right, we're going to leave time frozen so you guys can see better. A lot of people ask about the animation of looking like a cop, uh, standing like a cop, putting your hands over your, over your gun belt, things like that. If you go to M key, uh, go to player walk style. Um, if you go to this one right here, hi. <laughs> You're going to have a little bit of a pose. Mm hmm. Okay. You know, hey, uh, gangster. What's up, man? Bosh. Check my ass out, lady. Uh, tough guy. You owe me money. Grooving. <laughs> Check this one out. Yeah, boy. But this one's the cop. It looks like he's got a stick up his ass. But if you stand still long enough, since you're in the cop walking style, you'll do this. There's nothing fancy. A lot of people have these questions about it, and it's right there in your menus. You just got to remember to use it. And he'll go through different styles, you know, of animation. Just like that. And then you keep walking. And I think that's about 
it I want to cover with you. Like I said, if you get annoyed by the radio, just click on that and just go to available for calls. You know, go to no, just like that. All right. And um, we do have ambient events. I think they're turned on. We may even run into Catherine Brooks. We don't know. I uh, heard some lady screaming a minute ago. That might have been from an ambient event. But some of those ambient events, to be honest with you, they get really old really fast because you'll have someone steal a car in front of you. And it gets very annoying uh, when it happens over and over and over again. It's kind of cool for the first you know, three or four times you play, but then it gets boring. Okay, so we know the menu works, uh, the simple trainer menu. Uh, let's see, what else did we install? Oh. Well, let's do uh, ultimate backup. Remember, we set that to the U key, okay? So you can do different things. I'm not going to go through all these because I have tutorials on my uh, my channel. Do all that, and it would get very boring. Things like that. So, uh, but if you want to have an, a partner, okay? Once again, really fast. Go over to partner right here, and then uh, you can spawn a partner. Don't worry, buddy. And then uh, those kind of things. I already went over this with ultimate backup partner. It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's a very detailed description on how to use all that. Uh, you can, he'll follow you around all that. So we'll dismiss him. But technically you could uh, go here and just, you know, spawn, you. you know, as many as you want Hello. until you're done. You know, they'll follow you around. Good for, uh, you know, if you make your outfit look like, a, a, you know, like a, a SWAT member or something like that. Uh, Looks like we're the members of the village people right now. And then if you click on dismiss all partners, they'll all leave. Hey, are you? How you doing? All right, so that's done. Uh, let's see, stop the ped. Let's, let's mess with this. The lady is standing over here. Let's make sure this is working correctly. All you do is stand up next to him, double tap E. Wait. Okay, and then press E again one more time because you already have her attention. And then you can go for ID. Kiflom. You hear the Kiflom? We're going to replace that in just a minute. Okay, so L Laura Anderson. Remember left control, number pad zero. We're going to bring up the comp you like. And remember we took that pause screen off so it's, it looks really fluid. You can see what's going on around you. And it makes it look really nice. I kind of like the grainy look that, that you get right there whenever you go into comp you light. I kind of like that effect. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, Ped Records, you already uh, searched her up. Oh, she's got an arrest warrant for possession of cocaine. Nice. Okay. Hey, turn around. Hey, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You have an arrest warrant for cocaine, man. Left control T. Grab a hold of her. And I think. Yeah. The, the yellow key. Right there. Or the yellow uh, circle. My, my bad. Walk over there. And now you can actually walk them down yourselves. It will teleport you to Mission Row PD. You'll still have a hold of them, which is nice. I hope we don't have any more budget cuts. I don't give a shit. You're pretty good there, are you? One uh, more thing we got to do is search her. The badge anymore, you know? uh, you're the right to being silent. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that stuff. Right, so the uh, the quick frisk uh, to do this is uh, the F10. So if you press F10, uh, let's see, did we make something F10? What do we make F10, guys? Oh, that's that's only when you're in a car. That's right. So if you're in a car, and I remember I changed mine to F10 for the ALPR plate reader. It's not going to uh, function when you're on foot, obviously, right? So if you press F10, you're going to automatically search. Which is nice. <laughs> She's got a deadly weapon on her to the left. Look at that. Talk about the lollipop, guys. Come on. Yeah, guys are sick. He needs some milk. And you guys are sick. Sick. They come and watch me, huh? Sick people up in here. And then you want to do E key again. Up, let go. Takes a while to get the use of the menus. For fuck's sake. Hey, I'm not the one with the rest warrant. 
And then you just come right back here. Of course, the door will close in a second. Oop. They do have a mod, by the way, I guess. I think it's by Corio. Corio. That actually locks these cells. He's an he's kind of an underrated modder. He also makes the one where you can lock your police vehicle with the uh, key fob. I did a tutorial on that as well. Uh, another thing you can do if you wanted to, press your U key next to somebody, arrow over to place partner, recruit nearest pet as partner. There you go. Kind of cool, right? Exactly. We're not going to do all this. He's not going to get in until we press the T key. T key, he'll get in. Okay, so we already checked out everything else. Seems to be working. Uh, let's check out our flashlight. Make sure it's up over our shoulder. He should pull his out as well. And pull yours out. Thank you. And notice the light beam. Make it night. Light beam's kind of cool, right? Nice. That's because we're, we're using the uh, stop the ped. A flashlight. Press your tap key. He'll put his way too. Okay. Things are working. Exit. We're rocking, guys. Okay, so uh, now I'm curious, guys. The player location display. Uh, you know it's trial and error. We have to do this. Let's throw it back into our main game directory again. I want to see if the game crashes again, okay? But we have to do this, otherwise we'll never know. But I'm going to be pretty pissed off if that's what was crashing my, you know, my main game. <laughs> I don't think I took it out last time. I hope that's not the whole reason why I'm doing this tutorial. I'm going to be so pissed. So if it crashes again, that may be a good thing. I don't know. Are you, are you a pack developer? I didn't know that. What do you, um, actually, I, I think I did know that. But which uh, which vehicle do you do vehicles? Are you? Okay, remember we're in Windows mode right now. Still, we're gonna take that off in just a minute. Okay, still working with player location being in there. So something else was causing that. I don't know. We'll take off Windows mode here in a minute. I just want to see if player location is working at the bottom left of the of the screen which we'll be able to see in just a second. Oh, I know, right, Mike? I just saw what you typed there. They apologize, dumbass. <laughs> okay, bottom left, our location display is working correctly. So that's not what was crashing our game. So let's exit out again. And by the way, once again, if you, if I, I, I know you hate Windows mode, I do too. So go here and then, you know, obviously, Do that. Okay, so we know that that is working. Yeah, John, I don't know what the problem was, man. My game sometimes acts a little weird. Okay, so we already know. I don't know why I made a copy of that. I didn't ask it to. I'm going to delete that out. All right. So let's install a couple more things. We're, we're doing good. 
Uh, I didn't check out Spotlight, but that's okay. Uh, let's do Grammar Police. I'm just, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. Okay, I'm just getting things organized. Grammar place. Or just hit alt and enter, yeah. I could if I wanted to. Okay, grammar place, guys. I don't think I've ever done a tutorial. Well, I think I did a long time ago, but things have changed. So grammar place, okay. I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Uh, this is just a mod install. I'm not going to go through the entire thing of why Grammar Police is not working for you. Okay. Uh, Opus49 has a Discord channel. Okay. I do believe he might have included the Discord. Let me check and see. Um, maybe I'll get that for you guys later. But he has a Discord that he will sometimes actually help people out personally. So if you can't get your grammar police to work, it's too hard for me to do a full tutorial on why it's not working for you. Because I've had people with headset mics, and I've been I've worked with them on Discord to go through the process, and it works fine. But uh, anyway, what we're gonna do? Uh, I'm not going to go through all this. It's too much. Uh, all these things like, you know, the grammar, all these things, the, the preface, the command, the modifier, it's, it's too much. We're going to install it, and I'm going to go over just the basics. Hey, Jeffrey. How you doing there, Jeffrey? I had to reinstall my game, Jeffrey. Uh, so I decided, you know, why not stream it again? I, I've done this before, by the way. It's just, uh, it's been a while. Okay, so uh, you need all of these in your main game directory. So you could do the easy way and just drag and drop. We've already installed the Rage Native UI. If you look at the date, it's the same one. So uh, we're going to drag and drop. Just right in the whole thing. Right into our main game directory. Just like this. Drag and drop. And Rage Native UI, um, you know, it really doesn't matter. We can skip this file. We already have the latest one. Okay, that is done. It's installed, but there's a few things you got to do first. Go to your plugins. Go to LSPDFR folder inside your plugins folder. And you're going to see uh, one DLL right there. Now, before he had an INI file inside here. My old tutorial, uh, you you modified that one, but there is no longer a a INI inside your your LSPD fire folder inside your plugins folder. So what you got to do is go to Grammar Place folder at the top, and then you're going to see a default folder. Okay, you never want to modify this. As a matter of fact, when you open this, do not edit this file. Okay, so leave it alone. So what we're going to do is you're going to left click on, on the default, you're going to right click, and you're going to make a copy. You're going to click outside the box, right click, and you're going to paste. And it's going to be uh, called default-copy. You want to take that right there, click on it once, don't double click, right click, go to rename, and you want to name it custom. Just like that because uh, that way it doesn't get overwritten whenever you make any new updates with grammar place which I think Opus 49 is one of the most brilliant modders that we've ever had in the LSPD fire community to be honest with you if I'm being completely honest he's very very helpful in his discord and he's very knowledgeable so yeah I'm sure Jeffrey would probably agree same thing uh, one thing we're not going to install I'm not a big fan of it 
is immersive dispatch. The reason why that I don't like it personally, I think it conflicts with some of my regular commands. Now it just so happens I actually have a copy of my old commands uh, still left on my computer, which is a good thing. But what you want to do is to modify a few things that I would tell you to do, guys. Uh, if you go to grammar, okay, uh, in, this is going to be English US, okay. So if you go to uh, English US and you click on this, and then there's other languages here. You click on that, you're going to have default, okay. So the default, if you click on this, there's different actions, okay. And there's different commands. You're not gonna really mess with the commands too much, but the actions uh, you want to, you can actually kind of take from, okay? I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you go to custom and you'll, there's nothing here because you haven't copied anything over to here. So this is just my advice. You don't have to do this, but I kind of like to do this. If you go back to default, and you make a copy uh, or you can actually uh, you could probably copy the whole folder if you wanted to but let's go into it and let's do left control a to copy the entire thing you don't have to do this okay by the way let's do left control c back it up back it up go back into custom go to actions empty click in the box here left control v so this is where you can play around okay it's kind of fun So there's a few things you, you can do. Uh, let's do, okay, this is kind of funny. Now this is an XML document, by the way. So you need an XML editor. You, you can't really use a notepad with this. So we're gonna go to right click. We're gonna do edit with XML notepad. Uh, actually, I don't wanna do that, my bad. Right click, go to edit with notepad plus plus, that one. It's going to look something like this on your screen. Now, it looks intimidating when you see all the, you know, the, the coding that goes into this, but it's pretty easy. If you think, if you think about what grammar place really does, it picks up keywords. So we have female and we have female officer. Okay. So if you say a dispatch requesting a female officer, they will send a female officer your location how about we do this see this let's copy this left control C click right here press your entry key left control V again it's gonna look like the same thing right but how about we change this now to deputy Karen just like that Uh, you can go crazy with this, but you don't want to go too crazy because it has to recognize the way you're speaking into the microphone. So that's just an example. You want to save it, obviously. <laughs> but this is how I do my RP stuff that gets a little funny. You know what I mean? An update package is available. Oh, that's oh, that's for Notepad plus plus. Okay, no. Okay, so one thing. Uh, this is kind of. Uh, let's see. There's a couple things you can do that's kind of cool. Uh, let's do. Let's change a few things here. I'm trying to think of a good one that I've used many times. Uh, this one right here, pet check. Right click, notepad plus plus, edit with that. That's free off the internet, by the way. Now the common language or for a TIN code for an officer, uh, it's pretty universal, is requesting a 28. So you notice it already has requests, so we don't wanna mess with that. But what you do, what you can mess, with, we'll copy this string, OK? 
copy and enter press enter make sure there's no space like if you mess it up like that make sure it looks just like the other one right let's take this out and let's say uh 28 so you, you don't want to do numbers like that don't do that so you have to spell out the word 28 so this is a a ped check or actually this is 27 my bad my bad 28 is plate check my bad this is why i'm not a cop the 27 requesting a 27 okay so that's one thing you can do come down to the end of this again press enter and then you could actually type in uh, id check or you can just say id i think it needs to be id maybe um let's try i well i'm not happy with that so we'll leave that one alone because it gets really picky with that because it looks at the if you type in id it doesn't recognize id it it recognizes the word id id so that's not a word so you have to be careful with a few of these it's not going to really make your game crash it just won't work but 27 should work that's just one example okay uh, there's a few other things. Uh, this is kind of funny. I've done this on my streams before and it works perfect. Right click, edit with, no, I'm sorry, Notepad++. Plus plus. Okay, see how they have it here? CSI. Now, you have to, it recognizes the words CSI. But they also have coroner. These are all default, kind of built into grammar place. But how about we do this? bag and tag just like that uh you can name you could really kind of go crazy with all this stuff but we're not going to mess with it too much tonight but i just wanted to show you how to actually make some corrections if you wanted to do that <laughs> yeah john you can go crazy with this um oh there's one thing i want to show you too traffic stop uh, traffic right here so see traffic right there to the left uh, if you right click on that one and then go to notepad plus um, plus now on my 5m server we call them 95s that's just the code we we go by when we're on a traffic stop so once again we already copied the other code so I'm going to do a left control uh, V so we want to say 95 you don't, you don't want to type out a number or make them close together. So if I'll say um, uh, requesting me or uh, show me on a 95, uh, it will show me on a traffic stop. See how it works? You can see right there. It's a, that That's the target. You don't have to mess with all that. I'll leave all that alone. But 95. Uh, Jeffrey, have you ever done that before on your grammar place? I don't know if you're even using that. 95. And then we need to do one more for license check because I use that a lot. And that is plate, plate check right here. Plate check. Edit with notepad plus plus. Press enter of control V. And we're going to name this one 28. So if you say uh, dispatch requesting a 28, that's going to give you the plate check. More realistic that way. Uh, there's a lot of other things you can do on here. I'm not going to go through all of this. But you can go through your, to your heart's content. Now you've got these all copied over into your custom actions. And so you can leave them all the same, uh, you know, just like this. It'll still recognize everything. Or you can, you can actually experiment a little bit. Maybe one more here. So we have EMS, medic, paramedic. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to, you don't have to do this. It's kind of cheesy, but you could put pins up. No, I'm kidding. I'll do that. I'll put EMT. Yeah, it, you know, if shit's hitting the fan and, and you say requesting an EMT, just an example. Um, 
Um, you can say, yeah, we'll say it like that. That's fine. Okay, does that make sense, people? Oh, so Gram Replace is technically installed. The folder that you downloaded for Gram Replace, uh, once again, uh, is covered in the documentation. It's the right alt key. Uh, you can actually make a change to that if you go into, uh, let's see here. I think it, let's see here. Oh, there's one more thing that we had to do first. I would just take the right alt key, but there, there is a way you can change your key. You just have to kind of look at it a little bit. Uh, 1095. Uh, no, you could do that, Jeffrey. I'm sorry, John. My bad, John. Yeah, you can t you can type in uh, 1095. Uh, on my server, John, we just say uh, uh, show me on a 95, but you can say 1095. Yeah, it'll it'll work. It's not too long. So remember, leave the default alone. Okay, uh, you always want to leave that alone. The custom is the one you can you can modify. So really, this, this, I know it says do not edit this file, but that's because we copied it. Uh, but don't worry about your custom one. You can actually edit this. So this is where it gets really fun with Grammar Police because you don't have to have three things here. Like you, if you want to be called Lincoln 18, it'll, it'll say Lincoln 18. Uh, it, you don't have to say one Lincoln 18. He's got this set up to where it'll recognize you know, all of the, the call signs, but the call signs have to match what is in the audio files that is built into, you know, uh, GTA 5 itself. So just to kind of give you a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, information as far as the alpha numerics, if you will, uh, or the alpha um, is, you know, like Adam, Boy, Charles, uh, David, Edward, Frank, you know what I mean? So I go by Sam on my 5M server. So uh, rather than saying, and Jeffrey will fill me on this, because sometimes I'm in traffic division, like last night I was in the 5M server, and I was 7Sam81. And um, Doug is usually 7Sam37. So rather than having a long drawn out thing, how about we make it more simple and just do this, change this to Sam, that's me, just like this. And of course I am 81. So whenever a dispatch calls me on the game, it's gonna say Sam 81. But if I wanted to do this uh, in my 5M server, I'm usually on the two division which means supervisor detail, uh, it'll say 2SAM81. So I could leave it like that. I'm kind of used to that anyway, so 2SAM81. I leave that alone. Uh, this is one more thing I, I, I need to talk to you about, guys. Sorry. Let's pull up Grammar Police one more time. So inside Grammar Police, uh, actually, I'm sorry. Me back over here pull this to the side so inside grammar police you're gonna see an audio okay so the audio if you click on on uh, in grammar police you're gonna have uh, come on pull up. okay so you're gonna have a, a bunch of PTT that's push to talk okay they're different wave files so if I click on these let me this over here you can see what it's doing okay so anything if I click on it hear that hear that that's more of our like our server right Jeffrey well I'm sorry like uh, that's the more of the radio plugin that I have installed that's kind of cool and then here's the release so that's release six, right? So that sounds okay to me. There's a reason why I'm showing you this. So here's the push again. 
There's this, number seven. That sounds too echoey to me. I don't like that one. Not too bad. Not too cut off. Eh, not too bad. I'm used to that one. Actually, no, it's that one. So, see, push zero one. And we liked, was it release three? Yeah. All right, wait. Yeah, push one and release six. Okay, so we have the files that we like. So here's the push, uh, push, a uh, PTT push sound. Uh, we did we like three? Was it three? Oh, one. We'll stick to one. PTT release sound. We want it to be six. Does that make sense? So you need to look at the audio file, see which one you want. And these are the ones that you go by right there. Hold to talk. I like to have it held down. So I like to hold down the alt key whenever I'm talking. So I like to say true. And that way you can hold it down and talk for about 45 seconds. Uh, don't worry about that. Show in car animation. Um, we'll leave that. That's fine. Here's the dispatch key right there, the R menu key. Okay. That is the, um, the right alt key. Um, I kind of, I'm not sure if you put it in the readme or not, that website where you can change the actual keys. Uh, you know, the Microsoft, uh, let's see, what was that? Uh, I think that was in stop the pad, right guys? Not to confuse you too much, but let's back this up for a second. If you go to stop the pad right here, see the site right here? Let's go to that site real fast. Okay, so these are the keys for what Microsoft, you know, actually recognizes, you know, as a proper key. So you can see these are the D7, D8, uh, that's the the eight key see so if you have a hard time finding the key so go up to the top do left control f and type in r menu see it's the right alt key if you want to find a key that works better for you you know maybe the uh, the q key of course that's that's pretty normal but there's a few other ones that are kind of odd. You can experiment with different keys, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to leave that alone. Uh, you'll rarely ever go into left control F2 key to get to the menu of grammar place, but you can do that. Panic response, if you have a higher end computer, leave it at five. If you have a lower end to moderate computer, you might want to put two or three. Otherwise, if you put five or six, you're going to get a shit ton of texture loss. Okay. Show player status. So show player status, this will, this will show you whether you're on duty or off duty. I'm not sure why it's, it's defaulted to this, but I like to know when I'm on duty or off duty. So I'm gonna put true on that. Uh, this right here, I really like, because if you pull somebody over and you wanna read off their license plate, look right below the player location display and you will see the license plate right there. So I would change that to true. Um, there is a thing with grammar police notification that I need to fix here. I'm trying to remember where I put that. Meaning the position of grammar police. I want to get that located correctly. You know what? I think I might cheat a little bit here and figure out 
where my old folder is. Okay, one second here. See if I can locate it real fast, guys. This will just take a second. I think it's under my C drive. Files. Uh, Steam. Uh, let's see. Oh, Steam library. Common. If you guys want to know the coordinates, let me know in chat. I'll be happy to paste this or I can put it in my description. These are the coordinates right here. See, I have all oh, these are all my old ones here. Let's copy. Let's copy that. Go back to here. It's like that. That way it looks better. Actually, it looks the same, doesn't it? Uh, let me check something real fast, sorry guys. Maybe Opus 49 already did that for you. I think he already did. Yeah, I think he fixed it for you because he knows a lot of people use player location display. So I think he's already done that for you. So you're all good. You're all good. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to change a couple things here. Uh, pit pad distance. Uh, it will let you know whether it's safe to pit somebody or not. Uh, pit max peds. I'm going to leave all of that the same, I think. Yeah, we're going to make sure you leave this alone right here, by the way. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you on that. Okay, let's keep going here, guys. Let's install a couple of callouts real fast. Let's see how far down the list we are. Yeah, let's do a couple of callouts. Uh, where's it at? One second here, guys. Sorry. Trying to find it. Everybody doing good so far? Yeah, exactly. Um, John, you could make that the call sign pretty, pretty elaborate if you wanted to. Okay. Keep going. All right, let's do some call outs. Uh, let's do let's do super call outs. I remember back up to your main game directory. And we're going to install super call outs. It's about super pyromaniac. We're going to double click here. Uh, don't worry about the raising ADB. You already have the updated version of that. Uh, if you, you click on here, you're going to see this is what's going to get installed right there. Back it up. Make sure it's plugins. It's going to merge with this one. Boom. Boom. Your plugins. Go to LSPDFR. And then you're going to see super callouts right here. It's a config file. If you double click that, Let's see here these are things that you know you can turn to false if you do not want to get these interact key is y and call is the end key so leave all those alone for now uh let's do forestry call outs and people get in the habit of wanting to drag it right into this folder because this is where it's going to end up anyway but this is where people mess up because they grab the whole damn folder. Don't do that. 
Stop being lazy. Main game directory. Open this up. Plugins. Drag and drop. That way you know where it ends up. And then we ended up right here. Forestry callouts right there. I like to go into these callout packs, make sure there's nothing weird going on that I need to know about. Hello, kids. Why? You can also make these false if you don't want to get them. If there's something that, you know, maybe a, a particular call is crashing your game. Uh, maybe set it to false. That way your game doesn't crash or whatever. Go kick in there, shine. Nice. All right, we're going to speed it up a little bit. When you get to cards download, the Ripple Valor Pack. Uh, Officer 21, I think I have everything already linked. Did you click on my link, Officer 21? I mean, I spent like four hours getting ready for this t this tutorial. I have all the vehicles already set up we're going to install. So now I'm not going to go visit extra sites. Okay. Let's do, but I appreciate the recommendation though. I might do it later though, Officer 21. Uh, let's do Pursuit. Now, aren't you glad you have me here because uh, you wouldn't know what to do with all this? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this guy that did the pursuit pack, I don't know why he's lazy and uh, did not include the proper folders, but it has to go into this folder. But if you get someone that's new to LSPDFR and they download this, uh, I guess they could go to readme. It, it might talk about it. Does he even talk about it? No. I mean, look at this. It doesn't even tell, tell you where to install it. Man. So what do you do with this? I mean, do you drag it in your main game or your main game directory? No, it'll probably crash your game. Does it go to your plugins folder? It sounds reasonable, right? No, it doesn't do that. It goes to another folder. <laughs> it goes here. Click on that, drag it in there. Uh I did you there, Sean. Nice. Okay, does anybody have any questions? All right. Okay, we're going to keep going here, guys. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about simple callouts for now. It does the same thing. Let's back this up. Uh, one thing I'm a big fan of is Callout Manager. I've already done a tutorial on this, so I'm going to go through it pretty quick. If you want to learn more about it, you can watch that YouTube video about Callout Manager. Uh, but we're going to go to Plugins, find your main game directory, Plugins, must be far, and then Callout Manager. A couple things I want to change real fast. I'm going to leave it as F12 as the Callout Manager. The start delay, I want to change that a little bit to 8,000. This is in milliseconds. Uh, when I trigger the call, I want to get the call in eight, uh, eight seconds. It helps with uh, YouTube editing whenever I'm making video content. And I explained that already on the, the actual tutorial. I want it to auto close whenever I do a call out. So Without getting too detailed on this, this is really good for mod developers that are making their own callout packages to have callout manager installed because it will actually help you know which mod is triggering your crashing or which mod is not being called on because you're in the wrong area of the map, these kinds of things. Or if you want to get a particular call, this is what you install. Uh, nah, Sean, I set my uh, screenshot uh, to F6, which, oh, that kind of reminded me. Maybe we need to change that thing. <laughs> what did I set to F6? What was that? Um, oh, the uh, spotlight. So I'm glad Sean reminded me of that because it made me think of F6. You could change that in your uh, Steam settings, your uh, actual screenshot. 
So we just did that. Save. That's done. Uh, which one was it again? Spotlight, right? I might need to change that to F7, maybe. I'll change it to F7. Okay, that's done. All right, call-out packs are installed. All right, so let's get it back into the game. And uh, let's also... Um, yeah, we'll just launch it again. It'll be in Windows mode, that's okay. We're just going to make sure things launch correctly here. Yeah, F8 is uh, my skin control. And you can actually modify that to the key for that. Oh yeah. Nobody have any questions so far? We're gonna go through the uh, next process a little faster. The other stuff we had to configure, you know what I mean? Because, uh, because otherwise it just doesn't work. Hey Dawson. Hey, welcome to the family. How you doing there, Dawson? Dawson Ziegler. Welcome, man. What the hell am I listening to? <laughs> supposed to be epic style music on stream elements i mean i'm sorry uh epic uh, epidemic sound but um yeah so uh like sean's tip you know works better if you if you hit uh, alt enter it'll get you to full screen okay so uh looks like i spawned in on duty so the easiest way to tell that, by the way, if you press your, your um, you know, like for example, your uh, ultimate backup, the way that to, to be able to see if everything's loaded correctly or if you're already on duty without having to, to force duty, uh, you could just press U if you want. You know what I mean? So you can, you can do it that way. That way you know your stuff is loaded in. Okay, so we're on duty. Uh, get out of here. Uh, let's see what we want to check here. Oh, we want to check the first of all. Uh, we don't really have to be in a car. It doesn't really matter. So F12 brings up your callout manager. Uh, forestry callouts is better for the mountains. A pursuit packs anywhere. Uh, you press your entry key, and then you can get all these. Uh, there's 27 different, you know, uh, vehicle pursuits. Uh, so if you press enter, it's remember it's gonna spawn or it's gonna do the call out in eight seconds. It's really good for video editing. It gives you time to where you you guys don't see what's on your screen. It's all smoke and mirrors, okay. So if you see other, I'm not gonna call them out, but like myself, I call myself out. Um, LSPDFR when I'm doing things behind the scenes, uh, I may look like I'm surprised, but I'm controlling all that shit, okay. I'm controlling what I get, what calls I'm getting there. 
told him so. But these other LSPD fire video makers do the same thing. Not that y'all care, but I'm just saying. Uh, press enter. Uh, see, it closes the menu because of call out manager. And you have time to edit some of this, make it smoother. Uh, see, okay, so the bottom left, bottom of the screen says stolen taco van. Uh, it was in red. Did you see that? At the very bottom of the screen. So that one's not going to trigger. I doubt, it might be because we're not in the right side of the map. But we're going to go to Pursuit Pack again. We'll do Stolen Ambulance. And we'll see where that one triggers. We have a 503 and it's right down the street. So if I press Y to accept that, uh, these cops may freak out. Okay, so if you look also uh, right next to the mini map, you'll see the status out of service. That is through Grammar Police. Remember all that stuff we set up? And then uh, another thing too, uh, let's get into proper uniform real fast. F11. Uh, we're right next to Davis, right? LSSD. Get into uniform just like them, right? So one more thing uh, with Grammar Police, uh, it says out of service. So if you say available, or if you say 10-8, or show me 10-8, show me available, you can do it like this. And also, he, he's got a shoulder mic, you see right there? Uh, let's make sure time stays here so it doesn't get too dark. All right, so he's got a shoulder mic. If you if you do that, he doesn't grab anything, but if you press your M key, uh, go to um, police radio, and then go to, uh, let's see here, actions. If you got a shoulder, he's gonna grab the shoulder. If you got a chest, he's gonna grab the chest, earpiece, handheld, none. I like the shoulder. And then you press your backspace key. Hey, abuse, where you? How you done? Thanks for that dunno, man. It says I fell asleep to autoplay and woke up here. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream over here, man. We're just going through a full install. Uh, okay, let's do this. Um, you can say, you know, we'll do it this way. Uh, remember, and also you can call your call sign out too. Sam81. Dispatch requesting code 2 backup. Uh, we're going to be out here at Innocence Boulevard, Rancho Metro Los Santos. Uh, right next to the Davis Davis uh, Sheriff Station. I got push to talk held in. And so you're not going to respond until I release this thing. So I can keep talking as much as I want to. Hey, Got this stupid lady walking right next to me too. So when I release this, it's like that. It's going to send code uh, 2 back up. Rancho. Hey, Omega Prime Productions. Hey, welcome to the family over here. So now they're going to send a code 2 back up. So she's coming with, with uh, lights. Uh, or he's coming with, with lights on, no siren. Uh, the reason why he's, he's out in the middle of traffic is because we did it on foot. If we were in a car, he would be coming behind us. Okay. My man was staring at this blonde, so I died so anyway, that, that's how you do that. Whatever. Of course, you can hold down the enter key. Hold down your enter key like this, away from uh, your police partner or the backup. He will get it back in the car and leave. And uh, here, let's... We need a demonstration. Uh, let's see who's who's gonna volunteer. Okay, good. I'm glad to see you see it my way. Thank you, sir. Okay, once again, stop the ped. Press uh, G key. Uh, you can drag him if you want. Hey, doing there, Omega Prime. Okay, so he needs an ambulance, right? You can see the top left of the screen. If you can't, I don't know if you can see that very good or not. You can move around a little bit. Oh, oh really? <laughs> what did I say? What? What? Sorry, what was that? Okay, the gun sounds sound like complete garbage, but we're gonna change that in just a minute. That's done. So we need a uh, 
how about a CSI? Remember we messed up that with grammar place, right? So let's try it out. Dispatch requesting bag and tag. Okay, they're sending a corner service. They're gonna they're gonna send out the speedo first because we have not installed the corner van, which is gonna be the Ford F three fifty, two thousand ten model, which looks pretty badass. We'll install that in just a minute. Really easy. I'll show you real fast. And we need an ambulance for this guy. Dispatch requesting EMS. Oh no! Don't cut. <laughs> I wanted it for this guy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I think this one here, I think you could, uh, yeah, the G key or stop the ped. I do believe, yeah, right here. You can request a corner unit right there. You could do it that way, but really fast. This lady right here is being nice, but she looks a little sick, right? Okay. Hey, I'm, really sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, but he's going to give me a, a health pack. Did you see that? He gave me a health pack too, which is nice. Uh, Ma'am, you look sick. Okay, you need to go buy uh, ambulance. So this is all the default shit that comes with the game. So the ambulance uh, looks stupid right now, but we're about to replace all of that to make it look epic. He did, Mike. I think, yeah, Mike and also uh, Nick, I think he just fell. I don't know what happened. All right, so she's gonna go by ambulance. Uh, you're gonna see a shitty looking stretcher. I'm doing this all on purpose because I want you guys to see what we're going to replace here in just a moment. Hear the siren? The siren sounds like total shit. So we're about to change all of that. All right. Yeah, sorry ma'am, you have fever. I can tell, like 50 feet away, running fever. You got the COVID. All right, so she's gonna go by stretcher if she'll ever go. Gonna go, okay? See that shitty stretcher, that broke ass, dunk, plunky, dull ass, broken looking stretcher. <laughs> We're gonna change that. See that? Looks like it belongs in a in a shop or something. I don't know. Okay, so we know that's working. Grammar place is working. Uh, however, we're still out of service. Dispatch, show me available tonight. There you go. So grammar place is working flawless. So now we're on patrol. Uh, if you press your M key, go to police radio, see it says available for calls, yes. And the way you know that is the bottom left, it says on patrol, see that? I'm already getting calls. So Sandy Shores is way out of our jurisdiction, so normally I would not even take that call. All right, so I think that's all we installed really recently. Um, we could try. Here, let's look at. Let's make sure the spotlight's working, right? Remember, it's the I key. So the I key spotlight. Move it around with your number pad keys. I did a tutorial on this already. You guys want to watch? Yeah. So you see these guys over here walking? Hey, BWK Shark. Hey, welcome to the family, man. See the guy over here to the left? If you, um, if you move it with your number pad key, we're going to tag him and we're going to press the, the number pad three. Watch. Ready? One, two, three, and there. To the left of the screen above the mini map. Watch. I'm not touching anything. I'm driving the car. We have a possible 503 in Rancho. Kind of cool, right? My hands are off my keyboard, everything. It'll just follow him. Pretty cool. Pressure number pad, uh, number pad three key again. It'll take that off. The I key will take the spotlight off. Okay, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that's cool. <laughs> I think I'm the only one. 
All right, so we know that's working. Grammar place is working. We need to install the cool stuff. Let's go. Are you doing there, shark? Okay, so we're about to install some vehicles in just a moment, uh, but before we do that, there's a, one more thing I want to do. And that is, let me see if I can find it again. You think that's cool there, John? John and Nick? Okay. I'm glad I'm glad somebody thinks this is cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We need to do one more thing, okay? Uh, with the ultimate backup, or I'm sorry, the EUP that we installed earlier. The the version I have is 9.3 beta. That's through Alex Ashfold. I've already showed you how to install that earlier in the stream. But we want to make sure the officers are responding with the proper uniforms in different agencies when you're around the map. Okay. So we want, you know, the EMTs. Uh, did you see, did y'all see the EMTs that showed up right there? And also the, the coroner. Did you just see the coroner show up with those doctor uniforms? Looks stupid, right? So with 9.3, uh, they have a mod in there. It's called Ultimate Backup 9.3. So we're going to pull this up. If you download that, if you download the 9.3 beta from Alex Ashfold, like $4.99, uh, you're going to get a file that looks like this. So it's a plugins. There's an LSPD fire folder. It goes into your ultimate backup folder, and you end up with the special units, default regions, custom regions, things like that. We're going to back it up. Plugins, one more time, get back to your main game directory, drag and drop. And we're going to replace those files because I want them to respond with really cool paramedic uniforms, really cool coroner service uniforms and firefighter attire. That is now done. Pretty easy. Uh, let's see here, anything else? Let's go to the emergency uh, ELS, emergency lighting system. This is where things are going to go a lot faster. For the tutorial, I know you guys are probably bored, but we're going to go a lot faster, I promise. Okay, so we need e we need ELS. And um, like I said, this this could take hours and hours and hours. I've already done tutorials on, on the YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in, in learning how to install cars, uh, I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna do something special for John, which is being on Bot John, in just a moment because he had asked me uh, the other day about skins, about how to install a skin. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, we're gonna install ELS, okay? We need to get that installed first. So Grand Theft Auto 5, and you literally take everything you see here, uh, you could drag and drop if you wanted to, but open that up, take the whole uh, hidden caboodle here, ELS folder, ELS INI, ASI, and advanced hook V. You have to grab all of this and go to the main game directory. Just let it install normally. See your ELS folder up here that it installed? There's going to be a pack underscore default folder. Now it comes with a uh, one default, it called a police dot xml okay this is uh that tells your or, or it could be referred to as a vcf file this will uh, shows you how to install the actual lighting patterns and things like that so you have to in order to get your vehicles to function correctly you have to have an actual you know els file so that's where that goes we'll go over that in just a second but i just want to point that out because it ends up in that folder there so we have uh, ELS installed. What we want to do next is we want to 
install uh, increased environmental lighting. And what that does, it replaces the ELS default, uh, the light blooms off of rocks, buildings, streets, things like that. It's already set to where it looks pretty decent, but this one will expand it dramatically because in real life, it looks really nice. It's usually, um, you know, just completely just brightens up the whole area, right? If you've ever seen, uh, you know, a cop on a traffic stop at night, like the whole thing is lit up, right? So I kind of like uh, bright, uh, let's see here, actually brighter plus reduced traffic advisor because the traffic advisors get really bright. So I like the brighter plus reduced traffic advisor. You open the one you want. And remember, we just installed ELS, right? Take the ELS.ini and you're going to replace the old one. Uh, yeah, John's right. In the spotlight resources, you can adjust the alignment of the light and the spotlight uh, to the vehicles. So if you've got a vehicle where when you press the spotlight, uh, if you go into here, for example, right here, uh, if you know that the spotlight looks weird, like it's maybe five or six inches away from your, your spotlight that's on your car. If you go to offsets, uh, look at the car slot that you have installed and mess with the X and Y and Z coordinates. And you can also do that through the spotlight menu, which we changed. Remember we changed our, our key to F7. I think you can change it there too, like on the fly. And you can also make it uh, more dim, more bright, uh, you can expand it wider or more narrow. That was kind of cool. Hey there, Gamer Benny. Hey down there, man. Hey down there, Benny. Okay. Remember, guys, if I'm going too fast, you can always back back up the video, okay? All right, so ELS is installed. I'm going to delete some things I know we've already we've already installed. Um Okay, almost there, guys. Okay, so now all right, we're about to install some cars, okay? So my advice is, um, this even goes for people that have high-end PCs. Uh, go ahead and install what I'm about to show you. It's uh, basically a heap limit adjuster. And uh, that's kind of really the, the pattern that most people are kind of going with nowadays because it, it helps with the memory usage with Grand Theft Auto V because it's a memory hog. And so it loves to uh, limit the amount of memory resources that you have. So. If you do heap limit adjuster, we're going to pull this up and it looks like this. Now the link that I've already provided for you guys, uh, it does have an I and I, you can change a few things if you kind of know what you're doing, but if you, um, you know, make, make sure your game doesn't crash, uh, you may want to only increase this by, you know, uh, 20 increments. So if you want to go like to 770 or something like that, probably no more than a thousand. Uh, I would not do that, but I'm going to leave it as is right now. And uh, you need script hook and all that stuff to get all this to work. Pretty much all ASIs you do for the most part. Uh, we're going to drag this right into our main game directory. That's done. And then we need to install a game config. And for some reason, I thought that I had that on the list, but not seeing it. I have to grab that from one of my videos. <laughs> Actually, I'll just do it off the internet here. Uh, by the way, you know, if you guys are unsure, you know, about what to do, things like that, Google is there for a reason. Okay, a lot of you guys are not even using Google. What is up with you guys? Okay, so now I need a, uh, for example, a game config for GTA 5. Oh, look at there. Ah, first one on the list. Okay, let's download it. 
and let's do this. Oh my gosh, took a whole, what, 2.3 seconds? <laughs> Come on, guys. Lazy, man. Lazy little shits, man. I'm saying. Not all you guys. I love you guys. I'm talking about the other, other people that doesn't want, they, they don't watch me. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, GTA config. Uh, this is for the newer version out there uh, for Grand Theft Auto 5 right here now you could do one times traffic that that is an option but i find that stock traffic works pretty well uh, for most everything we're doing so we're going to we're going to install this now in order to install the game config i highly suggest that you follow along so we're going to go to open iv make sure edit mode is on and I kind of forget where the pathway is, but I've got a little uh, cheat system here uh, because I've already saved most of these things with OpenIV. So it, let's see, update, common data. Okay, easy. So make sure you're in a mods folder. Super important. Can't blame me if your game breaks. If your game breaks, don't come crying to me. So uh, do update. Make sure you're in a mods folder. Update. Update RPF. Common. Data. And your game config is going to be right down here, right there. So since you're in OpenIV, uh, it is safe to pull this out of here. It's not going to, you know, drag it out of OpenIV. So you can put this on here onto your desktop. Um, I think I already have it on there, but we're going to uh, copy and replace because that's the original. Okay. So we know this one's safe because our game's working. Go to right click, go to new folder, and type in. Uh, game config uh, do not delete original oh you want to leave this one alone okay it is now and uh, we'll just throw it over here on my other monitor oh come on okay got three monitors going so now this is the stock traffic right here. Hey, I wouldn't go that far, Benny. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What is Office 21 asking here? Benzo, I was out for a bit. We're returning question. May I hook you up for a free Davis Sheriff Station interior? Uh, guys, do y'all want me to, to install a Davis Station interior right now? <laughs> Maybe later, uh, Office 21. I appreciate it, but... I'd have to go through all that, man. It's too much. I mean, this tutorial is already an hour longer than I wanted. Thank you, Ms. Press. Uh, so to take the new game config, and you're going to drag it right into OpenIV, make sure Edema is on, and just replace it. it. It'll say encrypted like this, but then the encrypted will go away. Uh, the kilobytes should remain the same. You should not see any big change there or any change at all. So that's what you want to see. So if my game breaks or something is wrong, uh, come back and install your original game config, same pathway. Okay. And where all else, all else fails, if you're not sure what you installed or something's not working, you can take your mods folder and rename it to something like dash copy. And then see if your game works. If your game is working, you know, with it like this, because see the game, GTA cannot recognize this name. It doesn't recognize mods-copy. It can't. It only recognizes the word mods. So when you do that, of course, none of your mods are going to be there, like your cars and sounds and other things you install. But troubleshooting one-on-one -on -one is if you install a vehicle pack with a meta file, things like that. Come back and rename this to mods-copy, see if your game works. If it's working now and it wasn't working before, it's something you just screwed up. It's done, on to vehicle install. Yeah, Australia, I really just don't wanna mess with it, man. You know, I, I, pr I appreciate it. But uh, this is already becoming a really drawn out, long tutorial anyway. 
Okay, on to LSPD. We're going to do cars. And I want to make sure we install the right one really fast. Okay, I think it's this one here. Yeah. So this vehicle pack here is by Ripple. And it's got a lot of cool stuff here, okay? The quick the quickest and easiest way to tell if if it's a vehicle pack you want to use, a real quick pro tip, go to the VCFs, that is your ELS files. If you click on that, uh, you can click on, you know, there, in his case, he's got marked and he's got slick top. It doesn't really matter right now, but I'm showing you. If they're named something different, like 18 Tahoe, 19 uh, FPIU, uh, 20 Camaro. Okay, these are game. These are vehicles that the game will not recognize, and it may not be worth even talking about all that. But if you notice that these are common names that you know that your game will recognize that is probably a vehicle pack that you can get away with. So let's let's do, we're going to do police uh, one, police two, I'm sorry, there's no, well, there is a police one, you can, a police old one. You can do police, police two, police three, because I got another special one for police four. So uh, we want to kind of look through these vehicles. So there's a police three right there. You can also do a slick top version. But for now, uh, we'll just do the marked version. We need to get this into the game. Let me show you how to do this real fast. Mods. Uh, and I've already got this saved. I'm just looking at something else. Uh, personally, I still use patch day 24. Yes, I know there's a patch day 25. Uh, I'm aware of that. But 24 works for me. Okay. So um, I'm looking at this. Why is that doing that? Hold on. Okay, troubleshooting 101, right? Ready for some fives there, Miss Press. Okay, that's correct. There shouldn't be any vehicles in here. I'm just I'm troubleshooting real fast. Okay. Let me back it up real fast because we're we're gonna start going pretty fast here, okay? I think my old favorites, which makes me even wonder now. Yeah, it should be in the right place. I think we're, we're good. We're good. Um, I have an old Grand Theft Auto 5 install, and I'm hoping, you know, that my OpenIV is not trying to call on that, which it looks like it is. Because if I go here, th these are these are old files. I wonder why it's doing that. Maybe it's because it, it's an old save thing. Um, Let's organize my favorites real fast. Let's take this out. Because I, I really need to make sure things are installed correctly. Why is it still there? Organize favorites. Oh. Remove. Save. Okay, now it's not there. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> you like that, uh, you like that, Mike, <laughs> that command? I made that command a long time ago. All right, so we need to get to, uh, we're going to install some cards real fast. Most of you guys already know how to do this, so we're going to go through it really quick. Uh, so we're going to go to Open IV, and we're going to go to Update. 
going to go to 64 DLC packs. And I like to go to patch day 24. I, I know 25 should work fine. But, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Uh, if you want to try 25, you can. But I'm going to do 24. So remember, the later the patch day will overwrite the earlier patch days. Also, if you have a DLC car pack install, okay, which I'm not going to go into too much detail, to be honest, uh, that will overwrite all the patch days. DLC car packs do. If you're wondering why your car, your cars you just installed in patch day, you know, 24 or whatever is not working, and it's spawning an old uh, one of your old DLC packs, it's because DLC packs overwrite the latest patch day. We're gonna go patch day 24. DLC 64 levels and GTA 5 vehicles. So it looks nice and clean, right? So we're gonna do police number three. And we can't do this because edit mode is not on. We'll do a marked version. Pull it right into here. And this is what it looks like. Um, place three. Pretty decent. The lights look amazing. Okay. There's that. Uh, we want to do a police and a police two real fast. So I'm thinking probably the Crown Vic's going to be a police. Yep. Like that. Drag and drop. We're just doing marked versions. Uh, let's see. Police two. Probably going to be the charger. We're going to take these. Drag and drop. Okay, so now we have police, police two, police three. You're, you already showed your police three. Here's police. And then here's police two. Kind of zoom in a little bit. Pretty sexy, right? All right, so now we need to install the ELS. Okay. All right, so with OpenIV, uh, there's an ELS folder right there. We're gonna do that real fast. They're all marked. I remember we had police. Left control key here. Police two, police three. It's gonna go into this folder right here. Pack underscore default. And uh, the thing is with OpenIV, it, uh, it's very unforgiving, so it won't warn you that you're overriding anything at all. So that's why it's important to be inside your mods folder and stuff like that. But your ELS folder is technically outside of your mods folder. But with OpenIV, it, it never warns you. Okay. So we're going to just drag and drop, and, and uh, it'll fill in those other two slots. But technically, it changed this one as well. Okay, so we need to back up a little bit. And then this one here has a meta file. So I'll show you what to do with that really fast. Uh, let me check and see. Just want to do a double check where the meta file is. Okay. Let's back it up here. Oh, one more thing I was going to show you real fast. My bad, guys. Really fast. Uh, really quick pro tip, if you know you're going to be installing a bunch of vehicles into, like, say, patch day 24, go to update once again. Uh, we'll go back to where we were, guys. Uh, we're inside here, patch day 24. Uh, go to DLC, 64 levels, GTA 5, and then vehicles. So you know you're going to end up, this is a long pathway. Make sure you go to favorites, go to add to favorites, and... We'll put it in all caps, maybe. Uh, vehicle install here, patch day 24. We're going to add that. Because if you are anywhere inside here and you go to favorites, see here's the new, here's the new one. It takes you right there. Nice. 
And now we need to get to the proper vehicle meta file area. It's mods, update, update RPF, common, data. Um, and then I think it is, uh, let's see here, levels, GTA 5, and it's right here. So remember this is a long, um, a long favorite. So let's, uh, I'm going to take this one out because I think it's feeding off of something else. So we're going to say this one as our, our favorite. Okay. Add to favorites. Vehicle meta file here. Add. Okay. So now we have the favorite done. So for Ripple, in order to get this pack to function correctly, we need to use his meta file. Now, the only kicker is if you're installing a vehicle pack in, say, the uh, from one modder to the next, uh, one, ve one vehicle meta file may not work for the other vehicle meta file or, or for the other author. And there's a, a little bit of fine tuning. I'm not going to go into too much with that detail in here because it would just really get long winded. We're going to take this meta file right here and we're going to drag and drop. So that way the lights and everything function correctly and things do not flip. Like if you're driving your car and it flips over, you don't want that to happen. Right. And I think that's it uh, for that pack. So that one's done. And then let's install. Uh, we're going to do a SAHP charger real fast. Uh, this one's pretty cool. But you'll notice something right away when you click on once again the ELS and VCF they're the same thing if you see a folder called a VCF or another one called ELS same thing if you click here notice it's a police 2 we are we've already we've already um, installed a police 2 right so we're gonna come back and change that in just a moment so the cool thing about most of these mods is you can rename things we have the model. We don't want it to be police two. I want it to be police four. Is it over? Uh, far from it there, Devin. <laughs> Do you want it to be over? Man. Is everybody wanting to leave? Because I'll, I'll end the stream right now. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to go play New World with Sean. <laughs> Oh, okay. You've been working. I got you. I'm just teasing away. I knew, I knew what you meant. All right. So once again, this is place two guys. The cool thing about like, say this is a Dodge Charger, right? Uh, we can rename this to place four. So see that two, change it to a four. See this two, change it to a four. This is a highway unit. And we got to get back to the police uh, install slot. I'm sorry, for the car install slot, rather. Favorites, vehicle install here, patch day 24. Take these vehicles and go boom. Just like that. And this is what it looks like. It's a little dark right now because of the way things are set, but it's pretty sick. And San Andreas Highway Patrol, nice. Sexy. Okay. Almost done. The ELS right there. Remember, it's called Police 2. You got to rename that. Police 4. Used to go in the ELS folder. Back it up. ELS right there. Used to go to this folder right here. Right there. Folder right there. Done. Okay, that is done. Uh, let's see here. Done, done. Let's do. A couple of sheriff vehicles. I only want sheriff and sheriff two. Okay. So once again, little pro tip, go to VCS, see if the type of vehicle you want is, is first of all, is it here? So this pack has all these vehicles. Uh, I don't really care about the rest of these. I guess I could install the FBI one and two 
or FBI and FBI 2. I guess I could do that. That's fine. But I really want the sheriff and the sheriff 2. So I know I want those. Let's drag and drop those right there because I'm gonna those are gonna be ELS. Everybody with me so far? Yeah, we're gonna do the skins part here in just a moment, John. We haven't got there yet. So patch day 24. Once again, we're gonna back it up. Vehicles. Uh there is uh let's see here. The Tahoe. It's gonna be Sheriff 2. Why am I listening to Latin music? Don't ask. Okay. Kind of a different, kind of a green color. I like things that are different. It'd probably look pretty cool with the uniforms, right? So that's sick. And then I think it's a Chevy Capri. No. I want, I oh know it's a Taurus. No, hold on. I need Okay, so in this case, the 14 charger is the share slot. If you're not happy, you can rename things and then maybe change the handling IDs and things. And uh, I gave you guys a link to uh, to change the handling ID, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a second. Pretty easy, super easy. Uh, Sheriff, boom. That's done. Got the ELS installed. Um, and let's see, does this have a, okay, so this one, I don't think has, oh uh, yeah, so right here, so meta, you need this for the LODs to work. Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't get too compliment, complicated for you guys. So remember we installed the sheriff, <laughs> the sheriff and the sheriff too, okay? This is advanced. Okay, we're, we're about to get crazy here, okay? I hope you guys are, are bearing with me. All right, so this is a vehicle metafile uh, that may not work for the other vehicles, but I want it to work for Sheriff and Sheriff 2. So I'm going to enlarge this. I need to find Sheriff. So left control F, type in Sheriff. Okay, it can't find Sheriff. Why can it not find Sheriff? Go to the top, left control F. Why can't it not find Sheriff? Is Sheriff 2? Hmm. Try Sheriff 2, maybe. Cannot find Sheriff 2. Interesting. Well, is there something wrong with my notepad? Okay, yeah, there's something wrong here. I've never seen it do this. Hmm. So you can see the word right there, right? Maybe I'll do... Here, let's do this. I'm gonna think outside the box here. Why is it doing that? Maybe a little under our desktop. No, I don't want to replace that. Interesting. Let's try one more time. Why can it not find Sheriff? Hmm. Okay. I don't want to have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> Damn it, man. Why does this always have to happen like when I'm live streaming? It never happens when I'm alone. What would it what would it cause it to do that where it can't find it? Anybody know?
Yeah. Um... Okay, I'm going to try something. I've got a working meta file over here. I don't want to mess something up. It might be when Rar, John. You might be right. Let's take, let's take it out of WinRAR just to see. Um, well, okay. Maybe I can. Let's try. Let's let's go into maybe Notepad Notepad plus plus. Yeah, let's do that. It'll probably let me edit here. Uh, let's do Sheriff. Here we go. Y'all see, okay. So we need to copy this from the meta file that we took from, from uh, this other modder, which happens to be Ripple as well. We're going to grab it to the top right there. I'm going to grab right there. And we're going to, I like to hold my shift key and then my arrow key down to start selecting all of this. And I'll show you where to stop. Uh, coincidentally enough, Sheriff 2 is right below it. See Sheriff 2 right there? Right here, see? I'm going to keep going down. But we kind of need these for the LODs to work so it doesn't have floating, you know, lights and shit. All right, so when you get down to here, make sure you arrow to the right and you get all that code. See that right there? So we're going to do left control C to copy that. Okay, and we're going to leave this one alone for now. So we're going to, I'm going to click off of that for now. Okay, so we need to find our other meta file and that is going to be vehicle meta file here. Okay, that's the one we just went to. I'm going to right click. Uh, this is the, uh, the meta file that Ripple gave us in the other pack. And we're going to edit this one inside the open IV. Okay, this is the one that's already installed. This is the one that is in that other pack. So if I go to right click, go to edit. Okay, click anywhere up the top, left control F and type in Sheriff. It'll find it pretty easy. And so this is what it looks like. Uh, th this is the original one. So we're gonna start here, okay? Hold down the shift key, go all the way down you have to be really precise with this, otherwise it'll screw your whole game up. Well, it won't let you launch the game. Okay, here's Sheriff 2. We're going to be replacing these. Okay. And I'm making sure everything's selected right. Should get down to Speedo, if I'm not mistaken. Right there. So right there. Arrow to the right until it turns all blue. Right there. Okay, we don't really want to delete it, but you can just do left control V to override it. Left control V. Okay, and it and that worked. It didn't it may not look like it worked, but it did. And then uh we know that it overwrote the other one, so we're going to save. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks for the sub there, NT Shanley. Our first sub tonight, guys. Wow. I knew this is worth doing. Yeah, it must have been zipped up, Sean. Sometimes I can edit inside. Sometimes I can edit inside a RAR file. But it wouldn't let me. It was yelling at me. But even this right here, I have to, I have to go in Notepad++, which is stupid. I shouldn't have to do that. Go 
We've got one subscriber tonight, guys, after a four hour live stream. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Uh, John, we're about to go into that, the cool stuff that you want to see, okay? Uh, let's see here, really fast, uh, since you already know where this is going. Uh, okay, so we want to install a, a cool taxi that looks decent and doesn't have a glare uh, from all the light stuff we're about to do. So we're gonna go to patch day uh, 24 again. Uh, this improved taxi is all, everything's linked. Uh, when you install non ELS vehicles, you know, just a vehicle with, with, you know, without ELS emergency lighting system, uh, with no, without any lights at all, just a regular car. Okay. Off of GTA five mods or whatever. Uh, the only thing that's uh, criteria is that it has to be named a vehicle that it recognizes in game, unless you have its own meta file or DLC car pack. So we're going to go to model taxi. And this is really hard, guys. Are you ready? Okay, you're done. All right, so we want to install an ambulance. Uh, John, this is where you're going. To, actually, I'm sorry, John. One more, one more thing we got to do real fast. Uh, it is... Uh, let's see, where's it at? Okay. Really fast, John. Uh, there is a park ranger we want, okay? We don't worry about the sheriff too, just park ranger. So I think it's a RAM. We're gonna take this RAM and we're gonna download this. I think this is by Big G. This is what it looks like. Kinda cool. And then we want the VCF. Once again, goes to here, pack underscore default. We want this one here, done. Okay, we wanna install an ambulance first. Uh, let's see here. All these links are provided, by the way. Go back to. Uh, let's go back to here, and we want to go to uh, the patch day twenty four again. Okay. This goes for, like I said, any other car you install. I get tons of questions asked. Uh, where do I install the ambulance? Where do I install the fire truck? Same place. Ambulance. Right in there. Same thing. Uh, this is what the ambulance looks like for now, John. Uh, we're going to come back and replace the skin in just a minute. I may recognize that ambulance. Okay, we have to install ELS as well. So where is the ELS? Oh, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to show you something that some modders do. Okay, by accident, I highlighted all these and threw it in there. But if you look real close, see that XML file? Uh, the modder was kind of lazy and just threw the ELS file inside with the rest of these. Uh, that does not go there. Remember, that goes to the ELS pack underscore default. Does so this one right here, goes there. Yeah, big G, I tell you, pretty good stuff, huh? Okay, so we have another uh, fire truck we're gonna install real fast. He did the same thing as the other modder. So we're gonna take that one all the way. Actually, uh, here's the XML file, that's the ELS. And yes, it's misspelled, I don't know why. Um, GT5 does that. Fire truck, without the C, don't ask me. And we're gonna go to patch day 24. We're gonna take the top one here and go all the way down to there. Fire trucks, ambulances, uh, even some of the helicopters and things like that, they're all installed at the same place. Remember the latest patch day will overwrite the earlier vehicles. And patch day 25 just doesn't have a lot of vehicles in there to even worry about overwriting your stuff. So fire truck, boom. So here's the fire truck. It looks kind of bland right now, but we're about to spru spruce it up a little bit. And also the, win win the windows look like they're too dark, but don't worry about it. But it's about to get spruced up here, John. Okay, so that is installed. And let's go into um, 
Yeah, let's do these skins for John real fast because I know he's been waiting for a long time. Uh, let's find it here. Here it is. So inside the, the link that I provided for you guys, there is a, uh, let me make sure it's in there. It should be a yeah, L LSPD multi-pack, I'm sorry, LSPD mega pack. Uh, it should it should have said, I should have wrote this out, that it's a texture by Detailed Designs. So I'm not sure if Detailed Designs is watching right now. I messaged him on lspdfr.com to let him know I was going to give him a shout out because he made some really awesome skins for a lot of different vehicles. So this is what we do here, John, is you want to go into your patch day, okay? Here's your vehicles that you just installed, right? So it's a YTD file. Uh, I want to make sure John's with me first <laughs> before I start talking. Okay, so we're going to go into YTD, so make sure you're there, John. Okay, so uh, with any extra pack, uh, he, this guy here, his name is, once again, Detail Designs. Uh, he messaged me on, on uh, lspd4.com, asked me if I would, you know, if I wanted to make a video with his uh, skins. And I told him yes, so eventually we'll, we'll do some of these. So this is just an example, John. Um, we have the fire truck, right? So the fire truck, you don't want to mess with the YFTs. You want to mess with the YTDs. So at the very bottom, there's two files. I don't know if you see that or not. Let me move it over here so you can see better. Right there. See those two files? So let's click on this one first. It's, uh, this one is this fire truck. Now it, it'll correspond with any other vehicle, same way, like police four. It's a YTD. In this case, uh, we're working with the fire truck. Same thing. Okay. So we're going to open this up and you're going to see a lot of different stuff here. So if you scroll down and make sure edit mode, by the way, edit mode needs to be on. If you, if edit mode is off and you click on this, you can still look at it, but you can't import. So make sure edit mode is on first. Once again, a fire truck, YTD. We'll worry about this one in just a minute, but this one is what we're going to work with. We're going to scroll down until we start to see deliveries. So we have uh, fire truck liveries. That's the name of this particular livery. That's the name of it. And here's a fire truck sign. See those two? That's what gives it, you know, that those decals. Okay. So we want to change that, and I'll show you how to do that. So inside the, the download that I provided, there is a thing called state patrol. Oh, I'm sorry, state responders. My bad. State responders. It's just like this for this one. The other ones that you download will be probably easier. But state responders, and then here's the fire truck. So if I click on this, He's got it as template fire .dds. We need to probably rename this because it doesn't look like it's going to fit this particular one. So hopefully I don't get too complicated on you. So let me see here. DDS is primarily going to function inside OpenIV, but uh, for the sake of argument, uh, don't do what I'm about to show you, but I'm going to, I'm going to drag it in here. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Let me get this off the screen real fast. Sorry. Let me find out where it went first. Okay. Cause I want to see what it looks like. Uh, let's see here. Templates usually in alphabetic order. Template fire. 
you can see the layout right there. So you're not going to be using that one in just a second. I mean, I mean, you're not going to name it that. Hopefully I'm not getting too complicated, but I'll show you this one. See how it looks like the other one, right? So you see it right there. It says fire truck sign one. It's going to replace that one. So it needs to be named that. This is what I do as, as a little bit of pro tip here. You want to get the name exactly right. So let's rename it. So click on this first. This is what we have to call that other sign, okay? So let's copy this, the name of it. That's all you're doing. You're only copying the name. And remember this, this thing right here? Let's pretend, uh, you know, when I threw that in there, let's pretend I didn't do that. Let's click on it right here and let's rename this uh, to right here, leave the DDS part. Let's rename this to fire truck sign one. See that? So fire truck underscore sign underscore one. So when I drag this into here now, it's going to replace this one. See? So let's do that now. I'm going to drag this right into here. And it may look weird for a second. But let's make sure it's gone. See right there? It's gone. So now I'm curious. Let's let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like. We're gonna save this. And, and I promise you, John, most other there's a lot of good ones out there. I think Big G has done this a lot of times. Um and other a lot of other modders that work in the texture uh, uh, texture channel of the lspd4.com site uh, when you download textures from other modders they name it exactly as it appears in that download does that make sense it makes it a hell of a lot easier all right so let's go into fire truck uh, make sure you're up in here see the yfts when you double click that let's see what it looks like first Hey, it looks like it didn't make any changes, but I'm going to show you why. If this happens to you, John, what you want to do is back out. And you see this fire truck uh, plus high? That right there? Double click that. See that right there? There's another one you have to replace. There's another one, you know, it has to be replaced there. So this one's easy. This is the way it usually comes, John, whenever you download things. It'll be named the same thing, so it'll look like this. So open IV, when you're working in here inside the YTDs, it'll accept a PNG and a DDS file. So if you see a modder that made a, a PNG, uh, don't let that throw you off. It'll still work. So we already know this is going to work, right? So we're going to click here, drag it right into there. See it changed immediately because we can see. Now we're going to save this and let's see if it made a change. There you go. Kind of cool, right? I like the black and white. Sick. Nice. All right. There's that one. Let's back this up. Now let's do the, uh, we'll do the corner in a minute. I'll, I'll show you that here in just a little bit. But let's do the ambulance, right? So here's the ambulance. Uh, once again, this one only has a YTD file, so it doesn't have a plus high. So let's click here. And this one should be fairly easy. Uh, let's go to ambulance here. And so he's named it kind of weird, to be honest. He probably should have named it exactly the way it appears in here to make it easier for everybody. But people that are not privy to all this, they're going to get confused. So I'm going to show you something with this ambulance. This is a huge pro tip. This is because you have to, you have to learn from my mistakes. Okay. When you download this ambulance, sometimes it'll spawn with, with uh, this. It'll look like this metallic and it'll have grids all over it. But we don't need this one. 
So this particular ambulance, I don't know why he did it like this. He screwed up. So we don't want this one. We want this one. Well, actually, we're going to replace that in a second. See this right here? We're going to delete that. So yeah, we're going to we're going to leave it just like that. Pretend like that skin was never there. But we want this one. See, John? And we want it named exactly like this. See, F550. So F550. Uh, we want to rename. So let's go to rename. Rename. We're going to copy this. We're going to go back over to this particular uh, skin. And we're going to rename. And just leave the DDS part. And see that right there? And then we're going to drag and we're going to drop it. And you can see it already been it's already been replaced. We're going to save that. And if my calculations are right, this ambulance look should look pretty sick. So up here, uh, you can click on either one of these. It doesn't really matter. But the YFTs will preview what the vehicle looks like. There you go. That's pretty sick, huh? You like that. Pretty cool, right, guys? Anybody in chat? <laughs> All right. We're going to keep rocking. Oh, yeah, I know, John. This is usually me having to figure out all this shit on my own, you know? Uh, but the uh, there's there was a modder out there. Um, I can't remember his name right now, but like I gave him a huge compliment on my uh, on one of my Else Pretty Far videos because he named everything exactly the way it's supposed to be named uh, in accordance to what vehicle. So he took the time, like he used three different car packs, and he took the time to scan all of these. And then name them exactly the way it's supposed to be for that vehicle. So, yeah, that that's one little uh, thing there that they should start doing, all modders, to be honest. Okay, guys, that is done. Uh, we're going to pull this to the side because we're going to install um, a tow truck pack. So this is going to be kind of cool. Watch this, guys. This is something new. You guys have never, well, you've seen the, the tow trucks, but something cooler. So watch this. Super easy. Ready? It's an OIV file. This is all provided down below. See right here, tow truck pack, F5544.OIV. So this is, this is the modder. Okay, his name is uh, F5544. We're going to take uh, this tow truck pack. We're going to drag it in. It's an OIV. So we're going to drag it right into open IV and we're going to install it just like this and install. Now this is a DLC pack. Does it matter what your vehicle? It does, John. It, it does. And to be more complicated, sometimes you may get a, you know, uh, which I'm about to find out here in a minute because I'm going to install the 2010 F550 corner vehicle and I'm hoping the skin fits because he didn't provide a vehicle link in his description so I'm hoping it fits and I'm about to find out but the year does matter John and it kind of sucks I wish sometimes you can get really close like say a, a say a 2000 you know 18 charger versus a 16 and maybe you know, there's some body style difference obviously right but sometimes it can get close enough but sometimes one year makes a difference. Okay, so we're gonna close this out. This is a tow truck pack just installed. Um, I need to, let me do something real fast. One day 64, okay, I've got gotcha. All right, let's back up. Uh, really fast. This one's done, by the way. So we want to go to the DLC car pack that we just installed. It is a tow truck. Okay. 
we're going to go to update. We're going to go to 64 DLC packs and the tow truck we just installed. See right down here at the very bottom. Can you see? Can you all see that? Uh, that's from the OIV. That's what makes OIVs a lot easier to install. Super nice tow truck. And so we're gonna get, we're gonna dive. The reason why I'm doing this is we're gonna change the skin because I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here's the DLC car pack or the tow truck pack, are there? A DLC RPF 64 levels GT5 vehicles, and then he named it tow vehicle dot RPF. It doesn't really matter because uh, the cool thing about the game, the game will recognize tow uh, tow truck. It'll recognize tow truck two, and it'll recognize flatbed and it built into the game, which is kind of cool, right? Oh yeah, I know, John. I, I run into that sometimes. And sometimes, John, you'll find the really good modders that take the time and give you the, the direct link to their packs uh, that it's based off of. So you may have to just kind of look around a little bit better. So this is what the tow truck looks like. Uh, most, sometimes they come in white. Sometimes they might spawn yellow. It's kind of ugly, to be honest. Uh, that's tow truck, and and here's tow truck two. I've seen the the versions of this where they're yellow. Remember that during the live streams and things, guys. But this one's not too bad. But I don't like the texture. So we're already there. Let's change the texture. We're going to go back. Remember to that texture pack? Remember, guys? Um, right, where's it at? Oh, one sec, I gotta find it again. One second, where's it at? I heard this. Okay, this is the folder we were just messing with, you guys. So state rem uh, state responders. Uh, here's the tow truck, and uh, you probably should already know what's about to happen, right? So when you go to tow truck, we have flatbed, tow truck, tow truck two. Let's work with the flatbed first. And remember, we're gonna go inside here first. Let's open this. And yeah, here's the sign. So look for, you, you'll see what it looks like. It'll probably say sign or livery or something. We're going to rename that. And once again, I kind of wish the modder had already named these for us, but he did not do that. I'm gonna click on that and go right there. And that way when we take this and go like that, it replaces that, we're gonna save that. We're going to go to flatbed plus high dot ytd. Um, that's not the livery, so I'm not worried about it. So now if I go to flatbed, there's the new flatbed. Kind of cool. Traffic enforcement. Not bad. And you might find a, a, another skin for it, you know, but that'll work for now, right? Kind of cool. Uh, here's tow truck. So same thing. Yeah, the tow truck pack. Now this one's pretty decent. Let me know if y'all want me to slow down or whatever. As long as there's no livery in the plus high YTD, don't worry about it. But here's our new tow truck. Oh, wait. Why does it look the same? That's a flatbed. Thought it was, oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, tow truck two 
or no, a tow truck is a larger one. Is the larger one. Tow truck is a tow, tow truck two is a smaller one. I don't know why GTA does that. Anyway, here's our new tow truck, guys. Pretty nice, huh? A little different, right? Okay. Almost done with this. Tow truck two. Thank you guys. I appreciate y'all sticking around. Yeah, I know we probably only have a few people in chat, but that's alright. Y'all y'all are the cool cool crowd here. It sounds like I'm listening to lame ass music again. Alright, back here. Let's see what the tow truck to should look pretty cool. That's yeah, not bad. I like that. All right, so y'all saw me do the tow truck pack, right? Same thing with the corner, except we gotta do something a little bit different, but it's not bad, I promise. Uh, let's see here. Let me find it. Um, here it is. Okay, so the when you download a DLC pack from anywhere, it doesn't really matter. The ELS, VCF, same thing, like I said, they're all the same. Uh, it's all going to go in the same folder. So we go to pack, and then, you know, pack default. We go here, but corner... To the name right there guys uh, the game has to recognize the light system so it's corner so we'll start with that first uh, the next step is to add see this folder right here corner it needs to go into our D dlc packs so give me a second i'll show you where to go for that oh, actually i already know where to go for that my bad we're gonna go to update 64 DLC packs. This is super easy, okay? So what I do sometimes is I take the folder, I right click, and I rename it. But I don't really rename it, I just copy the name. There's a reason why I do that. So you take this entire folder, drag it right to DLC car packs. So it's gonna end up at the bottom because we just installed it right there. But we need to make the game call on it, okay? So what we do next, is we gotta go to the DLC list. I'm just looking up here real fast. We're kind of cheating a little bit. Okay. My open IV loves to call on. Let's do this here. Let's take this out. Like that. All right, so now I'm forced to do this all over again, but this this is a lot easier than you think. We're gonna do update, update RPF. I do believe it's common data, and your DLC list is down here. We gotta we gotta add a code to the DLC list. It's a lot easier than you think. Right, you're gonna do right click, make sure edit mode is on. Go to edit, and then right here at the very bottom, remember that OIV file. That we installed earlier we did an EUP and we did a tow truck so it may look like this is wrong but the coding it will accept this but I like to do these see how this is the, the forward slash so I like to do this this is how I cheat a little bit so remember that corner name left control V because I want to get that name in just a second we're gonna take this line of code right here copy Go back down here, enter, paste that, do this name, copy, delete, paste. All right, and that is done. So that it's added to the DLC list. Let me know if you need to need me to slow down, guys. We're gonna go into change the corner texture, okay? Because I know I'm going to get asked this on YouTube. They're going to be like, how do you change the texture again? 
Oh, you didn't watch the video. <laughs> Update. 64. DLC packs. Corner. DLC. 64. Levels. GTA 5. Vehicles. Vehicles RPF. Vehicles YTD. And then we're going to bring up that. Uh, that's already installed. And I need... I keep closing that stupid pack. I don't know why I do that. We need the skins right there. So remember state responders, corner. So uh, did I say F550 earlier? I meant to say F350, my bad. All right, so I'm hoping this actually fits it. He didn't provide me a link. So I'm hoping this works. Let's see these gloves in there. It's kind of cool, right? All right, let's find the livery for this. It's hiding pretty good. So sometimes you have to really be patient. Scroll through really slow. There it is. F-350 sign. But see this, John? See, he named it exactly the same thing. See? This is what happens usually. Still with me? Okay, I'm going to assume yes. Put this right there. Save. Hopefully this works. Here we go. Okay, got it up. Oh, you're good, John. I think everybody else left. <laughs> okay, we need to have ultimate backup call on the corner. I'm going to do that real fast. We're, we're going to reduce this. We're going to go to plugins, LSPFR. I'm going to go through this pretty fast because I know you guys are getting burned out. Ultimate backup, default regions. Um, edit with Notepad Plus. Notepad. No, not that one. Plus. We need to find the corner. So this is the ultimate backup default regions. This is how you get it to respond uh, rather than the speedo. So we don't want speedo, the speedo to respond. So we do left control F and let's, let's type in uh, corner. Find. Find next. It's right there. So he uh, he's only calling this. Uh, this is Bajojo. He called it uh, corner because it'll flag you to know that it's a corner. But we want to change this speedo right there to corner. That word. Because we want it to call on the corner every time. So you go down. This is in uh, Los Santos. This is uh, Los Santos County. This is Blaine County, and we want it to, uh, I don't go to North Yankton very much, but let's go ahead and put it there too. Safe. Oh, you're good, Nick. All right, so that's done. See if there's anything else I need to install real fast. Um, we do need to install a better radiance. Pull that up. We'll open IV again. Uh, let's see. Mods update. Update. Common data, visual settings. We need to replace that with better radiance. You have to have better, better radiance install, or at least uh, a form of visual settings.dat. 
So this is Jeffrey Gamer, uh, also with CJ, and they got with the other modder, the main modder, I guess, to do this. I like better, better day, brighter day pulley slots, but we have we just installed Visual V. So let's go into Visual V settings, and then let's do this one here: better radiance, brighter day pulley slots. Visual settings dot and we're going to replace the uh, that one right there. A little kilobyte change. That's done. Let me see if there's any other cars that we needed to install here. Done, done, done. All this is done. Cool. So all the cars are done. Uh, let's let's fire up the game real fast. I want to see if uh, if if it's working correctly. All the vehicles should be there, um, with one exception. Let's do this really fast. One more thing I want to do. Let's install oops, yeah, cars. Uh, which one had the... Is it this one? Uh, yeah, we can do this one. We're going to install a FBI slot real fast. Now, this is how fast I normally go. If you guys really want to know, here's how fast that I go whenever I'm installing this stuff, okay? Without explaining everything. So when I go to replace things, this is what I do. are done. Uh, let's, see, well, let's do let's do a siren real fast. Does anybody want to watch me install a siren? Because if not, I'll just uh, do you want me to walk you through really fast? It only takes a you know a couple seconds really to do that. But if you don't want me to do that, I'll, I can just install it and then you guys can just kind of follow along image wise. We're going to install some gun sounds too real fast. All links provided. Your gun sounds. Uh, it's an OIV file. Let's throw it in there. to rate of fire real fast. I'm looking at the path locations. The mods update common data AI. Okay, common data AI. Mods update. RPF common data AI. These make the weapons fire faster. Uh, now I haven't done the um, the siren. The siren's coming next. But if you guys want to uh, install the weapon fire rate, I think it sounds a lot better. We're going to replace these. Uh, you'll notice that little change right here. Watch this right here. And then 
animations right there. So watch these two, like right here and right here. Those change. That's done. Okay, so the, the sounds are done, the uh, weapon fire rate's done, vehicles are all done, all the mods are installed except for a few more small things. Uh, let's do the Keflam as well. Uh, if I can find it here. Hey, you're welcome, man. Hey, thank you, John. Hey, I do appreciate that that dono there, John. I do appreciate it, man. I appreciate you hanging out and everything. And uh, you can always message message me on Discord too, John, about the texture stuff. You know, if it's you know, not clear enough, because uh, sometimes the modders make it harder on us, right? Thank you, John. Uh, there's one more thing I was going to do really fast. Uh, where's it at? Keflam. Where are you at, Keflam? Oh man, where's it at? Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna do something. And this is something you're probably gonna laugh at me. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. This will be easier. Uh, you already know about my recommended plugin links, right? So I'm going to do my own site, my own uh, Google Doc. I do left control F and start typing in Kiflam <laughs> right there. You'll see it right there. We're going to replace this. Uh, I know I have it stored somewhere. I just don't know where it went. We're going to download this. Super, super easy to do. Okay, we're gonna open this in just a second. Is it still downloading? Man, the LSPD far side is so slow sometimes. Yeah, it's very when you when your game doesn't work and you want to get it back to where you were. It's a lot of hours, a lot of work. And most of the stuff is trial and error, learning through mistakes and all that other fun stuff, you know. And I don't know why this is taking so long. Let me try to refresh it. Sometimes that helps. It's a, it's not a really large file, I don't think. Sometimes if you refresh the page like this, uh, it will hit another server. In this case, it's uh, Las Vegas. And in this case, uh, the other one I think was from New York or something. I don't know. This one's about to finish, so we'll we'll, we'll pause that one. But I'll, I'll show you how easy this one is to install. It, it's an OIV file as well. Which I really like those because it makes it a lot easier you know, to deal with. So as you guys know, the Kiflam, you know, instead of ID, or this one will, will replace it and where it asks for ID instead. So you just go to OpenIV, make sure edit mode's on. And just take this and drag it into OpenIV. And then you just install. Make sure it's mods folder only. Then install. I know, right, John? Learn from my my aches and pains, my mental exhaustion, staying up till three or four o'clock in the morning for years when I get this stuff to work. And we close that out. That's done. Um, the stretcher model, I'm gonna show you in just a moment. But I need to make sure that the cars and everything are working correctly along with ELS. You know, we installed a lot of stuff right there, okay? So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, guys. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick bio break. I'll be back as soon as this loads, okay? Be right back.
Oh, that's hilarious. I just got back and I'm still taking a shower. What? <laughs> Man, how long is the shower? That's hilarious. And the music is just suiting. <laughs> hey, thank you for the sub there, Nathan R. Our second one of the night, guys. Well worth it. Okay, so we're not on duty, are we? No, we're not on duty. Okay, so like I said, sometimes the game will spawn you on duty and sometimes it will make you off duty. If you don't want to look like this, press your M key, go down to um, lock style, you know, change it to normal. I usually have it normal anyway, and that way you can just walk around whatever. This is one of the apartments, and by the way, you can also go here, and then you can go to, uh, let's see, uh, mm, settings. So you can go to settings and then you can do last played, random, uh, spawn location, you can make it apartments, PlayStation. I like to do PlayStation usually, most of the time. So I'll do PlayStation like that. And then you can just exit out of that. Let's get out of here. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> All right, Nick. Don't drop the soap. All right, let's leave the apartment. It's a good sign that it loaded into the game. Uh, so, there's lots of ways you can spawn vehicles. I'm going to do it the traditional way, the easiest way. Uh, here, let's teleport. Let's get over to another location. By the way, let's go to options real fast with simple trainer. Go to options. Uh, you can go here to... Um, uh, arrow over again and go reveal home map. And then make sure you go down here and save your settings, okay? Another thing too, a lot of people get stressed out uh, with LSPDFR because when they're when they're playing, they accidentally trigger a keybind that spawns like a red sports car, people trying to kill them, stuff like that. Uh, they don't understand their keybinds are enabled. See that top left there? So make sure that is off. Keybinds has to be off. And then come up here and go save settings right there. Press F, uh, the number pad five. One more time. It'll save your settings uh, into the uh, trainer.ini, the bottom there. And so that way you don't accidentally trigger an event, you know, like people trying to kill you. Okay, let's get over here to this police station, just moralism. And we're going to teleport over there, be here. And here's the cars. I'm not going to spawn all of them because I want my game to be stable. Uh, let's do... Um, we'll do it the traditional way. Place three like that. And a lot of times I'll actually go to vehicle options. And then go to vehicle god mode settings and then auto clean like that back it up and then we'll enable that save those settings one more time so that way every time you get in the car it's cleaned it makes it a little bit better for you all right so this should technically work if uh, i do alt j there we go guys Or nice. And then you can do J. Arrow to the left. Page two. Page three. The siren we're gonna change. Oh actually, you know what? You may be hearing. Uh Michael Brady sponsored the channel. That may not be the we're gonna we're gonna change the siren anyway. Okay. Hey, you're Michael. Michael Brago. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the live stream, man. All right. A little quick pro tip from Benzo. Left control P brings up your ELS console to the bottom right. Alt plus the one key. Alt one. If you look to the top right above the ELS control panel, you're gonna get different 
types of lighting patterns at the front. So I like the 11 and 12. So I'm going to do Alt 1. I'm going to keep going until I get to the around the 11 or 12. Around there. 13 looks pretty nice. It's a nice strobe action. Left Control P. Take that off the screen. And we get some nice strobe action. Pretty nice, right? And let's make sure everything's working correctly real fast. Oh, uh, we're not even on duty yet. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> my bad, my bad. Here, right, let's do this. Just a little bit. Okay. Duty, force duty. Boom. Can't find the tow truck. Uh, let me see if it's in there. Maybe I didn't include it. Let me see if it's in there for you, Michael. Uh, let's see here. Ah. Yeah, it may not be. Let me get you that link for you, man. Since you just uh, became a new member, help you out. So if you go to, uh, if you ever want to get to my vehicles, by the way, guys, if you go to my recommended plugins, the bottom of your VL is pretty far video. Go to vehicles. Click on that. We'll take it to the vehicle links page. And it's a pretty long list, so I'll do left control F. And just type in the word tow. And you're going to get different kinds of tow trucks. But let's keep going down. And that's the one you want right there. So let's copy this for you. Put it into here. And there you go, bro. If you want to back up the video a little bit, I showed you how to install all that. There you go. All right, so we just loaded up all our mods. Uh, let's get into our proper uniform. Uh, we'll just go, you know, LSPD. That's fine. If you want to do like, just do it like that. It's fine. Actually, I think some of these other classes look kind of cooler. Actually, no, not that one. That looks kind of cool, right? For the style. Uh, one thing we haven't tried out yet is the skin control. So that should be working if I press F8. I'm going to go, I'm not going to go through all this because it's too much. I've already done a tutorial on this. We're going to add some um, decals real fast. It's something that looks somewhat kind of cool for the most part. Nothing fancy. And the cool thing about skin control is you get 25 save slots. So we're going to say uh, LSPD, short sleeve, decal. So that way whenever you press F8, you gotta load, it's right there. And like I said, I already done a tutorial on that. Hi mom. Hi mom. Alright, so that decal's looking like shit. So I need to change that again because you know I have you're not pregnant, bitch. You're too old. We're gonna go here, go to decal. There it is. That's the one we want. We're gonna go back here again. Save. One more time. LSPD, uh, short sleeve decal. So that way, if I want to come back into the game, uh, the decals will look better. The insignias, you know. All right, let's get out there and let's make sure this is working. Oh, you like that Google wallpaper? Yeah. All right, so we got the uh, three vehicles. Uh, so you got the police once. What well, the police lot is across the street. That's the Vic. Police two is behind me. That's the charger. And let's go. Let's go get that guy just because we can. We're gonna get up behind him. We're gonna ding him. And we're gonna light him up. Oh, and you know what we need to install, guys? We have to install custom pullover. We have to because they do stupid shit like this. You know what I mean? And you can't guide them without custom pullover. It's a must-have. I mean, it's really a must-have. Uh. 
See, it's really hard to get them where you want them. So I'm going to light him up one more time. But custom pullover is, is the shit, guys. You really have to have that. Okay, and remember we have spotlight now, right? So we can move this around. And see how it's picking up a little bit part of the vehicle over there? It's not working 100% with this vehicle. So we could correct the offsets, but I'm not going to worry about it, okay? Uh, let's see here. And then once again, we need to make sure we're on duty and stuff like that. Dispatch, show me 1041, 10-8. Copy that. Two, Sam, duty, one. Proceed with patrol. Dispatch, show me in a 95 eastbound Vespucci Boulevard. Got a two-door uh, convertible pull over here. It's going to be a WFA. A La Mesa, Metro Los Santos. Stand by for 28. Two, Remember, we changed all this in grammar, police guys. This is the reason why I'm showing you all of that. Dispatch requesting a 28. It's going to be uh, for a two-door. Two uh, it's going to be a convertible. License plate number 20, Charles Nora, Charles Nora Queen, 885. Okay, that's working right. Let's hold down their E key. Make sure CompuLite's working. Uh, technically, oh, it's a... Oh, okay, whatever. This is the vehicle registration right there. Vehicle owner, same person. Uh, say she's acting squirrely. Dispatch requesting code 2 backup. All right, so they're doing code two backup. I'll show you guys how the code three backup works when you're on a traffic stop. It'll be a felony stop. Uh, yeah, it, it's included in the um, ultimate backup. Okay, see how they came with sirens? You can actually correct that in ultimate backup as well. And remember, we fixed the menu keys at the very beginning of the tutorial. So we just get one single thing like this. Let's see some ID, huh? You hear that? We replaced the Kiflum, so let's see some ID, huh? Thanks. Question driver, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and dismiss her. Bye. All right. Have a good one. She's going to wait till we get back. She, till we get back in the car. She'll leave. She's free to go. Put up our spotlight and then hold down the entry key. Uh, he'll leave. Yeah, I'll show you how code three backup works. Remember, you have to be on a traffic stop here, I guess. I don't I don't have my voice mod installed. Officer 21, because <laughs> I know where you're going the next question. Now, another thing too that we have, um, I can tell something may be going on down there. Uh, LSPDFR might have created an event down there like they were going to fight. I don't know if you saw that. Those two guys walking off. I saw them spawn over there. Those are ambient events built into LSPDFR. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, as far as being co cool, other times they steal a bunch of cars and drive around like crazy. And sometimes I'll turn those off. You can change that in the LSPDFR INI file in the LSPDFR folder. So, dispatch, show me to 95. Gonna be a four door SUV. All right, we need to be on a traffic stop again. Uh, it, I just wanna make sure it registers that we're on a traffic stop. So we correct, we corrected it in grammar police. Grammar, grammar, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> grammar police. Uh, 95 for us is going to be a traffic stop because I corrected that in grammar police only because of my 5M, okay? So now we're going to do this. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. Uh, we're going to be a Vespucci Boulevard, Interstate 4. It's going to be a black SUV. And you can keep that held down and keep talking. See the uh, on traffic stop right there? So the driver is not going to do anything yet. You could also install a mod called keep the effing door open. <laughs> when you hold down F, it'll keep the door open for you. Roger, 
Okay, wait for your backup to get here. Now, they're not going to do anything just yet. Okay, so the trick is when I do my videos, you can see they've got their weapons pointed except for this officer right here. I don't know why he doesn't, but that's neither here nor there. But the trick is, you know, you can aim. Just aim away from the driver a little bit. Start to get verbal commands if you want to RP this out a little bit. The moment you're, you're reticule, if you will, I don't have the force person aim installed right now. The moment that uh, touches the suspect in the driver's seat, he will get out, put his hands up, and start walking backwards. Most of this stuff is all RP. That's government property. And you can tell him, you know, keep walking, keep walking. You guys have seen my videos enough to know what happens. Get on no your knees. Interlace your fingers. Now, technically, the officer to my left will probably come over and arrest him. Sometimes they do not do that. So in this case, they didn't. Sometimes they will actually come up and arrest. There, there she goes. There she goes. Is she going to sweep or is she going to actually arrest him? What is she doing? Now I'm curious. You going to arrest him? There she goes. You were going straight to jail, asshole. Give a little bit of time. Uh, press E. And then you're getting the stop the pad. Also, flashlight with your weapon. You're done. F10 for a quick search of the vehicle. Remember, we took off the... Remember the pause uh, game screen? Whenever you find something in the vehicle. We, in this case, we found several pounds of methamphetamines. Which is a, a lucky guess. Uh, we didn't know this guy would have it. But to the left there above the minimap. But notice it pops up there instead of the full screen. So if you guys watched the beginning of the stream or when we installed Stop the Ped and Ultimate Backup, that is how you do that. Um, one thing I have not done, I need to add in for my tow truck. I need to say requesting 51. That is common police language as a TIN code for tow truck. I forgot to add that in grammar police. So I'm going to do that here in just a minute. But for now, we have to say tow truck because it won't recognize it. So I'm going to have to do it like this. Dispatch requesting tow truck. Uh, Four-door black SUV. Copy. Okay. So it'll give you the option. Uh, in this case, let's do a small tow truck. We're going to see our new tow trucks here, guys. Here comes the new one. Oh, I like that. It's pretty cool. It's a new skin, so. That'll spawn over here. Let's take a look at it. If you want to kind of stop traffic a little bit, stop traffic. The tow truck will still drive, I do believe. Maybe not. They usually keep driving. That's not too bad. Yeah, he'll keep driving. He's not hindered by the radius, you know, of your stop traffic. But he'll keep going. But other traffic will stop. Okay, let's turn uh, traffic control. Let's clear that out. Hold down my entry key. Everybody can go. Uh, this guy is still <laughs> arrested, I guess. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Hey, don't hit my suspect. Get back up here. Probably again in left T, left control T. F10, quick search. Bye, Felicia. Okay, Clyde Jackson. All right, Clyde, we found several pounds of uh, methamphetamines, okay? All right, good. You're free to go. Have a good day. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble, man. Next time, it better be 200 pounds, okay? Actually, let's do another vehicle here, make sure it's working good. I'm going to show you one more quick uh, cool thing. Guys, do you want me to show you how to do the, the vehicle uh, engine sounds? There's two ways to do that. Here 
Here is the uh, charger. Listen to the charger. It doesn't sound like a charger, does it? Sounds like shit. So, if I get at least a couple of people, maybe three people in chat, if you want me to show you how to do vehicle sounds, I can do that. There's one. Yeah, it's default, John. Well, you know, John's been here the entire stream. I'm going to do it for John. So we are going to back out. Um, everything else looks like it's working correctly. I'm going to do this for you, John. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Okay. Let's go to Open IV. Already got pulled up here, John. Now, on that download, I should have... I'm looking for it here. Oh man, there it is. Okay, good. You should have an example of, it's called an audio hash, John. Uh, this is only, you know, this is one way you can do it. So in that download, you're gonna see something like this, with all these things right here. When you get down to the cars, you're going to see right here, audio hash example for vehicle metafile. Use only if you want to change the engine sound. This is an example of a really good engine sound for a charger. I don't use voice mod anymore. I think I explained that during live stream, right Gus? Conflicting too much with my PC, my microphone, and all that. Okay, so uh, there's the audio hash right there, John. So let's go to the vehicle metafile. Uh, the quick way, to, the quickest way to get there, mods, update, sixty four. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, my bad. One more time. Mods, update, update RPF, I'm 64, um, levels, ET5, no, hold on, my bad. Let me start again. Mods, update, update RPF, I'm 64. Levels, GTA 5. God dang it. <laughs> Wrong again. Well done. Mods. Update. Update RPF. Common. Data. Levels. GTA 5. Vehicles metafile. So we need to save that. It's a long pathway, right? So let's do um, add to favorites. I thought I already saved that. Did I not save it? Oh, I did save it. Stupid ass. What's a dumbass? If you've already saved it, you come out of file. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna do a custom pull over here in a minute. So we got a vehicle meta file. Uh, make sure to let edit mode is on. We're gonna go to right click. We're gonna go to edits. Enlarge it where you can see better. Uh, this is a huge meta file, so my advice is to do left control F. Uh, the there's two chargers. Remember, we installed the Ripple pack that had the uh, the charger, right? That's in the uh, Police Two slot, and there's also one in the Police Four slot. So let's type in Police Two. You're going to get something that looks like this. Keep arrowing down about six or seven times, or maybe five times. You're going to get to police two right there. See that? Now scroll down and you're going to see a thing called audio hash. See that right there? Right there. Audio name hash. That code that I gave you. Once again, it is right. Where's that? 
right here. Copy this code. Copy. Back over here. Paste it. But you don't want a gap. Make sure it doesn't have a gap. Make sure it looks like. Sorry, right, man. Like that. It needs to look like that. Does that make sense? So we have the Windsor as the police two audio hash. So that means all police cars will sound the same as the charger uh in I'm sorry, the police two slot, which are which is the charger, but we made it sound it's like a Roll, Rolls Royce engine sound, but it matches a charger. It's a little beefier, but not overly beefy. If you want really beefy, then you would name it Dominator or something. Does that make sense? We went for place four. Same thing. Like that. Okay. And then you save it. Make sure you save it right there. That way you don't have to change. You can also do it through a trainer because I know we're going to have little shit birds that come in here after this gets uploaded. YouTube. You could do it through a trainer. Well, I know, but that doesn't help the other, you know, chargers that show up on scene sound like a charger. You know what I mean? There you go. Fixed them all. Um, okay, so let's do the custom pullover. That's super important. Okay, guys. And then we're going to do the stretcher model and a breathalyzer model. And I think we're just about done. I'll go back to my recommended plugins. Let's type in a custom pullover right there. Forgot to put it in the list. Really a must have, pretty much. Download this. Main files. Uh, just read the README. It'll show you the uh, proper things to use. Remember, this goes in the main game directory. Main game directory right there. So do the README. Um, I'm not sure if he put anything on here. I thought he would have at least put some. Why do botters have to be so lazy? Bro. Get all this work in, you don't want to actually put the instructions on how to use it. <laughs> Fuck me, man. And people, man. Thank you, Mike. John, does that piss you off too, man? Get these really talented modders out there in the community. Far more talented than me. I don't know how to do this shit. But I know how to create a readme. Bro. Anyway. Plugins. Like this. Uh, I think it may be, now that I think about it, it might be inside the config file. That's what I'm thinking. Let's find out. Custom pullover. Let's dive in here. Okay, there it is. All right, so it's going to be left control. Uh, typically you're going to do left control R is the mo the most, the biggest thing you're going to do when you do a pullover. So left control R, you're going to perform a mimic. And then when you're done getting them to pull over where you need them, which I'm going to demonstrate in just a second, you're going to do left control R again, to make them stop mimicking to get them to follow you. You're going to pull in front of them back up where your rear end is almost touching the front end, left control T. They will follow you. Left control T again, they stop following you. If you do left control W, you can place that marker anywhere you want, they will drive to that marker. Left control W again, they will stop driving to that marker. They will stop. Yep, you can change the keys if you want. Ooh. Thank you there, Mike and Sean. All right, so 
Let's do. Uh, let's see here. Let's do the new stretcher model. And uh, this is from the media fire that I. And I'll show you how to create a readme. You know, see a readme? This is how you create a readme. Read me, bro. Everything you want to know. Come on, man. I'm going to use my own tutorial. <laughs> my own readme to install this properly. It's really pretty easy. So the stretcher model, we have to make sure that stop the ped and ultimate backup both call on the proper stretcher model. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't confuse you too much here. We're going to go stop the ped I and I config, you know. And we're going to move this over to the side a little bit. Do left control F to find this stupid thing. And we're going to uh, call the stretcher. And if we got to find it on here. I don't tell me that again, man. Fine, I'll do it this way. Oh, it's under ambulance. My bad. Well, oh, stretcher's right there. Okay. So the ambulance for a stop the bed, it has to call on this particular model. See, here's the model right there. We're gonna we're gonna install it in just a minute. Copy his code, left control, default, and just do it like that. That's stop the pad. Okay. Save. Same thing with the ultimate backup. Right here. Right there. Save. And remember, we've already changed the in the ultimate backup. We changed the speedo to corner, uh, so the corner vehicle will res will respond as well. But that's neither here nor there. This is the um, the actual stretcher. So. Let's go into OpenIV. Pretty easy. And once again, I've got the README Bro right there. So mods. Now here's the kicker. 64C, right? So if you go into my mods folder right now, I don't have a times 64C. So this is what I do. Hopefully this, is, this makes sense. Turn edit mode off first. Let's make sure that it's off. Off. So we want 64C right there, right? So if I go 64C right here, remember this is outside the mods folder, okay? I think I said there, Joseph. Hey, you guys, we're on a roll, man. We got three tonight. Uh, let's go to 64C. We're going to go to levels. Remember, this is outside the mods folder, okay? Levels. I'm following this path right here. GTA 5. Now we can kind of jump in here if we want. Props. Lev underscore Des. And then Les, uh, Lev underscore Des RPF. This one right here. So if we highlight that, now we click on edit mode. Open IV is going to flip its shit. You ready for this? While editing a mode, all changes will be automatically saved. Do you want to continue? Yes. Oh my god. Holy shit! Uh, help me! Uh, copy to mods folder. There you go. And you're already there. So les underscore des rpf. Now see so you're inside the mods folder. See? And you're going to copy all of these. Every one of these. You're going to throw it right into that lab underscore desk and go boom. You're done. Oh man. So the stretcher's done. Let's do the rutherlizer real fast. And then we're going to do the siren. Okay, so same thing here. This is for the breathalyzer. It looks a lot better than the asthma inhaler. So we want to get this to the right spot. Similar to the stretcher, we want to go to, you can see it says mods, uh, 64C levels. Oh look, it's actually really close to the same thing, right guys? 
So it's already there. See it right here? See, it's in the mods folder now because it copied it over. Let's do that. Oh, it's this one here. So read really close to the readme on this one. This one kind of sucks. 64C, RPF, we're there. Levels, GTA 5, I'm reading right here. Uh, let's see, props. Lev does. And then V, minigame. This is for the prop inhaler. Uh, this one goes into here. So we're going to go that one. That one's done. So this one's another one. So this one goes 64D, right? Come out of the mods folder. Uh, it. I like to, well, if you want to turn edit mode or leave it on, that's fine. But watch what happens. We're going to jump out of the mods folder. And it's going to start freaking out, see? And then it's just going to copy the entire 64D. That's fine. We'll just copy it over. We'll get it over there. Several ways to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? 64D. Levels. ETA 5. Generic. I'm reading right here. Cuts object. This is for the P, the P inhaler. Underscore S. That must be this one. How do we have to install this two different spots? Yeah, this one sucks, man. Okay, there's that one. And then we have to install the same one somewhere else. I'm looking for the... Where is it at? 64G. Here it is. Copy Todd's folder. That time for me to hydrate. I know. I need a drink. I'm definitely not going to timestamp this video, the stream. Way too long. Uh, let's see. GTA 5. Generic. Cuts objects. This one. Boom. Now this one goes to for G levels GTA five generic rock object and it's this one right here. Ooh, my goodness, man, that one sucked. My brain's hurting now. Yeah, I need a shot. Shot of vodka. All right, guys, let's do the, I I'll, I'll kind of like the, uh, the Omega 90. So we're going to do the Omega 90 uh, into the game. And let me check something real fast. Yeah, okay, it's good. So this is the pathway to do a proper siren. Okay. So this is what I do is when I get, I download a siren, when I get the folder, pull it to desktop. Just pull the whole folder to desktop because you're gonna need that folder in a minute. So if I go in here, okay, we have uh, several things we can do here, okay? So if you look, it's got a vehicle, a vehicle folder and a vehicles.oac. Okay, so the more the thing we're more concerned with is this dot OAC, that one right there. And remember, it's in its own folder anyway, right there. So we're going to exit out of that. This is the pathway to get there. Yeah, I need to start over. All right, so hopefully you guys are paying attention if, uh, if you want to learn how to install a siren. So I'm just going to go kind of fast here. So 64, audio, SFX a resident. Make sure that you are inside your mods folder. Cannot stress that enough. Uh, a lot of times people want to drag and drop, you know, the OAC, the OAC into here. 
Uh, typically, it doesn't work extremely well like that. So this is the best way to do it. In here, make sure Edimo is on in, the, in this uh, blank space. Right click, go to Import Open Formats. And then you need to find that folder over here. This ultra high low, so it's on my desktop. I got a lot of shit on here, so bear with me. If you see anything from Pornhub, please forgive me. Just kidding. Okay, so we have ultra high low for, uh, versions. When you open that, you're left with what can be imported into here. So the easiest way to do this is highlight the OAC, double click, and then go to, um, I do believe, I'm gonna check something real fast, no. So once you do that, I'm sorry, let's back up really fast. Right click, open formats, find the folder you need, double click, and then click OK. You're done and we are officially done all right so let's uh, check everything out in game um, there's one more thing I want to make sure that uh, rage hook I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's opening in uh, Full screen mode but you know it doesn't hurt just to hold down the when you're in game just alt and enter key get back to full screen super easy so if you if you're unable to launch your game you might want to just make sure you know consider maybe going into force windows mode and then you can just save and launch if you want we'll just leave it like that that's fine i'll just keep doing it like this it's a little safer that way We're just about there, guys. The plan was to make this tutorial shorter than the last one. It's actually longer. And the weird part about it is the last tutorial that I did like this live stream when I did a full, full install, I had to find the links. All these links, about 99% I've already had. And I took five hours to prepare for this tutorial. So I spent 10 hours. I think I'm done. Bent. And the music is not helping. Are you talking about car mod sound? Uh, car sound mod? Oh, no. Nah. Not doing any more mods, man. I'm done. I'm spent, bro. I mean, there's barely enough people in here watching. Okay, I just want to make sure, you know, all everything's working correctly. Which it should be. Yeah, thank you, John. I'm hoping somebody gets some use out of this. If they rewatch it, you know. Remember, we chose our spawn point, spawn point to be the PlayStation, so it should put us at a PlayStation. And uh, like I said, sometimes it forces you on duty, which is weird. Uh, Alt plus enter key, get full screen. Uh, in this case, it didn't put us on duty, which is fine. So, you know, this I think this is the way you should arrive anyway. Well, hey, I, you know, I, when you when get to the, and you can go into the PlayStation, you know. You I'm curious to know why they don't have their weapons on them. I think I might have to reinstall something, but I'll, I'll work with that later. Totally I'll work with it later. Yeah. Too tired. <laughs> I'll figure it out. There's probably something with the EP config or something like that. All right, so force duty. Things should load fine. This 
give it a little bit of time to load in. I usually sit here for a minute. And uh, let's see, let's try out the police four slot. We haven't part of that car yet. Pull up this. Um, San Andreas Highway Patrol, right? That kind of cool. Get some decals real fast. This is usually how fast I go through with all this stuff. When you get used to it, you know, pretty easy. It doesn't really matter at the time, I don't really care. Yep. Spawn, place four. You could do this through a train or two. And I think, actually the window tent's a little dark, right? Uh -huh. Oh, thanks. I wasn't, I wasn't talking to you, sir. I think it's the metafile. I'm a little too tired to show you how to correct that, but we could take the 10 off real fast. F3. Uh, that could be corrected through the vehicle metafile. Remember, we changed it from police 2 to police 4, and yet the uh, the window tint is too too dark, so you have to change the defuse settings. It's too too complicated to describe here, and most people won't even get it anyway. Uh, we're going to take the window tint. We're going to change it back to the right, back to the left. I get it to go clear. And then that's all working. You can hear the engine sound. A little more beefy. Okay, so that's working. One thing we haven't done yet is the left control I key, bring up speed radar, make sure that's working. You could do um, left control page up, left control page down to modify the speed. This guy's got underglow. Left control I again to turn it off. F10 to turn on ALPR. Inside the vehicle is outstanding. Looks nice. So, um, ultra high low frequencies are all working as intended. That one's good. Right, let's do Park Ranger. Make sure that's good. This is a uh, big G. I like it. It's pretty cool. I like things that are different. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, windows, uh, maybe a little bit too dark. Windows sometimes I may have to change the metafile or fix it a little bit. But for now, we'll go to vehicle options, vehicle mod menu. Here's the window tent. Go to the right, back to the left, and I'll take it off. Looks nice. And uh, we have the vehicle reflections. Remember the, the immersive lighting, the enhanced environmental lighting. You guys can see that too. Pretty nice, right? Freeze time. Page one, page two, page three. Nice. Um, the forestry callouts uh, would be better. You know, obviously, you already know how this works, Jess. I uh, just go somewhere, you know, and just teleport. Actually, yes, hold on. Let's make sure the custom pullover is working. Pull him over. 
This will function just like a police car. Oh, okay. Uh, not a good demonstration because he just hit something. Yeah, and the it could be corrected through the vehicle meta file if you want to, John. I I will show you how to do that since you since you donated. I'll be happy to show you how to do that. It's only if you want me to. Okay, so he's come to a stop. That's not going to work. Left control R. And you put him wherever you want. Just drive a little bit. Just be, it's a little touchy. Out to the right. Left control R again. Get him to stop. If you want to get him a little bit uh, further up, if you, uh, maybe you want to get him next to the fountain. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Left control W. And then use your number pad key and put it maybe back over there or something. And then press the number pad 5 key. I'm sorry. You gotta press the enter key, my bad. We'll put it over there. Enter key. There he goes. <laughs> okay, so that's all working. Alright, so, uh, like I said, we'll teleport up there. Oh, did I go to North Yankton by accident? No. We've done a Halloween episode out here before, remember guys? We did a zombie run. If you guys remember that. Okay, so you could technically, if you wanted to, you could do it naturally like this. Just about show me 1041, 10 8, please. Okay. So you can just kind of hope. You can kind of hope you get the forestry call outs because we installed those, right? And uh, they'll come naturally. So we've got a lot of call outs installed right now. They should mostly work. I've researched those to make sure they're up to date. But maybe there's something. Maybe you want to record a video or whatever. Go to forestry call outs. And you can do like animal attack. And it will spawn here in about eight seconds. Citizens report a robbery in uh Santiago. That's robbery. not I think that's something else. That's something else. It it came over before the other one. Try it again. Murder kitties. All right, so why is it doing that here? You know what? We got time for this. Give me the give me the ones that I want. Well, we're, I'm trying to trigger a call. If it works here. Okay, that didn't work. See the bottom of the screen. It says it's red. We're probably not in the right area. See, look, we're way over here. Let's get up here. This is why callout manager is pretty nice. You can test out the callouts. You know what I mean? Okay. Get over here. Now let's trigger. And we'll do an animal attack. And we're definitely in the mountains and stuff, you know, so it should trigger. You just have to be in the right place. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Um injured injured hiker well that would that work they love me man hey rick gaming wolves hey thanks man i uh, need to kind of be in the right area for the, some of these calls to trigger which is kind of a good thing i mean you don't, you don't want to get Get these kind of calls in the city anyway. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's go all the way like up into the damn mountains, you know, if we have to. Alright, let's go back over here. We'll definitely get them here. How you doing, Rick Gaming? 
Well, I say we should. Let's try one more time. Murder Kitty emote on Twitch. Oh, for the um Oh yeah, we could do that. At the emoji thing. Or the yeah, the emote rather. Okay, why is this not It's it probably has to do with the location thing of the map, I'm sure. We're just testing out a few mods here we that we installed. Okay, I wonder if they have problems with this one. Okay, there's one area I know for a fact, uh, because I did an episode, that it has to work. Otherwise, maybe it's this call-out pack. Maybe the call-out pack's broken. But this is why call-out manager is really necessary. Test these calls out, you know. Uh, it's going to be intoxicated hiker. All right, take care, Mike. Yeah, it must be something with the call-out pack. Uh, we definitely installed it correctly. Uh, pursuit pack, uh, let's do this really fast. I just want to make sure that it's actually working correctly. Uh, let's do... Um, um, we'll do police two. This is the uh, sexy vehicle by Ripple. The uh, time of the day really doesn't do it justice, right, guys? Hear that engine now? Okay, so now let's get out here, like on the highway, right? There we go. And like I said, I like to have the strobe action going. Uh, left control P again with the ELS, Alt 1. And just get to, you know, like maybe a uh, maybe a 12 would be good. You can actually fix that in the, X, the ELS file that comes with the car. You can actually fix that as well for the primary or code 3 lighting to be, uh, get the strobe action going. A little hard to explain unless I show you. Okay, so, uh, we'll just kind of, you know, it doesn't really matter. I just want to trigger something here, make sure things are working good. Oh, you had four times traffic or five times traffic? Damn, man. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Just about to show me your responding code three. Yeah, that that will mess your game like crazy because I mean that's a lot of traffic, man. Okay. Uh forewarn you if you download the pursuit pack, pursuit callout pack, they haul ass, by the way. <laughs> Requesting air unit. Dispatch air unit over David's court. So grammar place is working good. Ultimate back it's working good. Stop the pads working good. Compu light is working good. The um, ALPR, speed radar light, all that's working good. So everything's working good. I'll see you, little bitch. You can also take off that little camera swing, too. 
if it kind of bothers you a little bit. Oh, he's on the foot already? Okay. There he is. He, ah, he crashed his car. Little asshole. Okay. Long tutorial, buddy. Okay. I got time for this. I ain't got time for this. I need to chest out my rapid fire script with uh, my my guns. <laughs> Stop! Okay, that's working. <laughs> Good. Dispatch requesting a bag and tag out here in Norway. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works on Grammar Police. There we go. That works. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm really surprised how good Grammar Police actually works. Because I said it pretty sloppy because I'm tired. So let's see. Uh, you can also take off the sirens because uh, I don't feel like a coroner service, you know, should respond with sirens. So watch what I'm going to do. Okay, now it won't work right now, but it's bothering me so much that I've got to do this. So I'm going to alt tab. Let's go back to our LSPD fire folder, right? So this is going to be under stop the ped, okay? Because the corner service is through them, not ultimate backup. Let's go to corner. Let's find it because it's really bugging me. Uh, let's see where you at. Let's go to the top. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Come on, bitch. Uh, let's see here. Where are you at? I don't know what's going on with my notepad. Why it's not allowing me to search things. Maybe I need to open it and something else. I don't know. Prisoner transports. Um, corner service right there. Uh, thought it was going to be under here. Yeah, we already know this. Already fixed that. Whether the corner service is enabled, yes. We changed that. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe it is under, which that doesn't make sense, but maybe it is. Okay, what, what am I listening to here? This is really just driving me crazy here, guys. Um, where's it at? Shut the fuck up with your stupid ass music, bro. Seriously, give me something I can listen to. You're driving me crazy. Lame bullshit. Fuck. Uh, let's see here. All right. Here we go. If you're using LS car and want silent code two, blah, blah, blah. Let's change this to no for the parameters. I think that goes for all vehicles responding. That's what it does. I just want to do a double check. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Now, it's not going to fix it live in game until I reload shit, you know. Uh, you can also hold down the backspace key. Get them in here a little faster. There you go. But uh, it'll keep them from coming with their uh, sirens on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't have the uh, Watch Your Death mod. That'd probably take another 20 minutes to install that because it's a script, you know. But the, uh, yeah, watch your death mod. 
uh, pretty easy. It's, uh, you install it right in, you know, into your scripts folder if you don't have one, just create one. Bro, I'm right here, man. Why, do, why are you taking so long? Right here, you dumbass. <laughs> okay. Hey. Here. Hey. Stop moving. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the body. There, get out of here. Well, maybe turn this into a bad cop stream, okay? Yeah, go get him. Okay, so here's the new corner vehicle. New livery. Something a little different, right? Nice. Got a body in there. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the helicopter. Usually I don't change that out very often. All right. Let me check one more thing. All right, so uh, th this is probably some of the reason why I don't stream on YouTube, you know, very often, guys. Because, you know, I mean, a YouTube channel of 78,000 subscribers should not, should not have 17 people watching the YouTube stream. You know what I mean? This is why we primarily stream on Twitch, in case you guys are wondering. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. I think we're done. Uh, there's probably one other mod that I want to install. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. It has to do with uh, more of a weapon loadout. Because you can press one button, it loads different preset weapons that you want. It gives you, you know, like your armor and stuff like that. Of course, you can do that through stop the pad in the back. So. Yeah. Yeah, might as well, right? Ooh. So for those that stuck around to the stream, you know, I do appreciate it. Oh man. Oh shit, chat. We are toward the end of the stream. Grab a drink and popcorn. Let's blow shit up. Here we go, guys. Blow some shit up, okay? Well, I really hope some of you guys got some use, you know, out of today's video. Uh, there is actually one more thing I'd love to install, but I'm not going to do it now. It's uh, Ambient FX. So you guys will see it on my recommended plugins. Ambient FX. Makes it really nice. You know what I mean? Because we have the weapon system activated, we can't do that, so we have to turn off Disable Realistic Weapon System right there. We're gonna go here. That guy's got a warrant. Weapons. Pretty sad that I already know exactly where they're at too. <laughs> Alright, who has the warrant? Midnight Silver Saddler. This guy. Got a warrant, sir. Pull over. Actually pulled over pretty good, right? But it's too too much too many people around here. Custom pull over. Left control T. Follow me to your death, sir. <laughs> Back over here, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hi, how you doing? Get out. Who 
Right. You doing all right? Very good. Hey, follow me all over here now. Uh huh. Uh oh, you better hurry. <laughs> hurry your ass, sir. Come here. Or stop. Stop following me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just kind of showing you guys what could happen with mods, you know. <laughs> All right. I uh, we'll turn all that off. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome and if you guys uh, did not you know understand some of the tutorial uh, that's what's on YouTube obviously you can just rewind it a little bit well it does it on Twitch too but you just rewind it rewatch it hopefully you guys got some use out of today's tutorial but usually I can install these in about maybe 25 30 percent less time that I did tonight when you're installing this many mods but I would highly encourage you to only install maybe two or three things and then try the game out. You know, don't do what I did and install seven or eight things and hope that it, things work. <laughs> uh, the weather, there we go. That looks a little better, I guess. Uh, Visual V is actually really nice uh, for let me show you a good setting for that. So like and your clouds, pretty nice. And then time of day. If you hit it right about, I'll show you a good setting right here. Where it's just dark enough, you know. That looks really nice. I like that. Pretty cool, right? It's epic. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we gotta head on out. Alright, boys. Thank you, John, for hanging out with me. Pretty much the entire stream. Thank you, Office 21, for showing up. Uh, Rick Gaming Wolves, thank you for becoming a new member. Uh, anybody else in chat that is a member? Or Sean? Not quite a member yet. We'll talk him into it, Jack. There's Nick. Thank you, Nick, for moderating. If you put a car sound mod in your regular 64 folder, non mods folder would be sound play in 5M servers like Sirens. Or in car sirens. Yeah. So remember when we in start and when we installed the siren inside the mods folder, we went to the resident folder. You would just do it outside of uh, when you replace. Actually, what I would do if you're doing 5M is download a 5M ready. You know, like a five, what I would do is, you know, download a 5M siren ready. And what that means is it's going to be a resident file. So then you just go to your uh, time 64 audio. This is outside your mods folder when you're doing 5M. Make a copy of your original resident folder. You're going to thank me later. Because if that gets fucked, your whole game is fucked. <laughs> So then, uh, you know, you make a copy of that, keep it somewhere safe. And then you replace a resident folder that you get from another modder that modified a siren. And if you're lucky they may even do weapons and stuff too for you. And then drag it over and replace it. And you can even do that without open ID. Alrighty guys, we're going to head on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. I took off the like 
in the down like button. Y'all like that? Y'all like that little maneuver I did? That way people can't get butt hurt. Can't downvote. Can you, dick? Can you, bros? Oh, you're so mad. You're mad, aren't you? So mad it hurts. Uh, Johnny Ringo, you look like someone just walked all over your grave. Now it'd be Benzo. Oh, I wonder if the, uh, does the spotlight work in here? Oh yeah, it does. Nice. Ooh, look at there. What is it hitting? Excuse me, sir. I don't know if you guys knew this. You can actually do this for, uh, cars too. Let's say if you have a car next to you. Maybe let's downgrade a little bit so people don't freak out. Watch this. See the card right here? Watch this right here. Get yeah, follow the car too. And it actually gives the license plate number. Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, watch it. Follow it. That's <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm easily amused. I'm sorry. All right, guys, we're ahead. we're out of here. Happy there, Rick Gaming. Well, uh, you sound familiar. Your name sounds familiar. We need a tornado, like a tornado script. Nick, you really like those, don't you? But man, my my game looks actually really steady right now. Time to install more shit and fuck it up. <laughs> Let's go. Kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna get some rest. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you uh, probably tomorrow night uh, over on 5M or on Twitch. Get some uh, cool people hanging out over on Twitch. Thank you, guys. You have a good one. See ya. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.